Wow, this place is crazy. I know that these billionaires are my real parents. What is going on? Hey, poor, you're trespassing. Leave now. No, you don't understand. My real parents, they're billionaires and they live here. I said, get out of here now. No, dude, I'm not leaving. I need to know the truth. I said 50 million or the deal is off, Winston. Dad, Dad, it's me, Keith. I'm your real son. That's it, you freak. Huh? Ah, stop! Just tell my parents that I'm here, please. Yeah, yeah, shut up. When will this end? Dumb kids always trying to steal the Beaumont fortune, huh? Ah! Ugh. Now stay away from the Beaumont's estate, you creep. No! The Beaumont's are my real family. Just listen to me. No billionaire family would have such a loser kid. I never want to see your ugly face again. That guy sucks. I know that that's my real family. I just know it. Keith, you're dead me. Bert, what are you doing? You're a lazy bum. You're supposed to help me with the farm. You know what, man? You need to stop treating me like trash all the time. I know that I'm your adopted brother, but I'm still part of your family. Not to me, you ain't. Whatever. I know that my real family are billionaires anyway. They just don't know I exist yet. Shut up. You have no family, Keith. No one loves you. Now get to work in the field. What? No. I'm going to smack you with this if you don't start working now. <sighs> You're the worst brother, Bert. So are you. Now get to work. Whatever. Man, Bert's never liked me. I don't get what his problem is. Uh, what the heck is that? Sounds like... Ah! Keith! Keith! Ugh, ow, my arm. Dad? Dad! Keith, we've been warned sick. What happened? The tractor, it hit blew up. Bert probably broke it. How would you know? You were off pretending your family's a bunch of rich billionaires. Is this true? You're still trying to find your real family? Yeah, I am. I just want to know the truth. I want to know why they left me. Probably because you suck. In fact, I'm leaving you here, that's for sure. This storm's getting bad, and you look just fine to me. Stupid baby. I hurt my arm, you jerk. Well, suck it up. The storm is getting bad, okay? We should head back and prepare the farm. I want to help, but my arm, it hurts. Yeah, yeah, whatever, crybaby. More excuses. Maybe your billionaire family could handle the medical bills for that arm then, huh? Oh, no. I spent my last bit of money on that Uber just to get here. But he has to be here. My real dad. He's presenting at this convention. I just have to talk to him. I have to. <laughs> Keith, you suck. Uh, just go away, man. Shut up. You're never getting adopted. You're lame. Yeah, I'm poor. Your real family didn't even want you, dude. <laughs> hey, stop that. All of you. Now leave him alone. <sighs> Are you okay, Keith? They're right. No one loves me. I feel so alone. Oh, sweetie. You're not alone. I'm here for you. Yeah, well, no one even wants me anyway. You know, I heard that you came from a billionaire family. Wait. What? Maybe she was lying. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. I've just got to know for sure. Hey, you! Where's your ticket? I don't have one, but you've got to let me in. Do I look stupid to you? No, but my dad's in there. Oh, yeah? So is the Tooth Fairy. But I don't care. No ticket, no entry. Out! Next in line! Well, that didn't work. I can't buy a ticket, so I'll have to find another way in. I have to. I hope this works. It's now or never. And as I always like to say, the key to being rich is making a lot of money. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Um, Mr. Beaumont? Look, if you're fetching more water, make sure it's bottled and costs at least $25 a piece, okay? I don't want any of that dreadful dirt water you gave me last time. Sir, I don't work here. What? And why are you bothering me? Because I... I I think I might be your son. Is this a sick joke? We lost our son years ago. How dare you bring this up? Look, I didn't mean to offend you, but I was abandoned as a child, and I've always believed- You're trying to get money from me, aren't you? Is this your twisted scheme? Is this the game you're playing? Pretending to be my long-lost son, bringing back the pain my wife and I had suffered for years. No, I'm not pretending. I'm just trying to find the truth. Security! Get him out of here! How dare you try to upset me before my big speech? Huh, you again? Look, no, stop! Just hear me out! I don't listen to sketchy thieves! Huh! Ah! What the heck? Let me go! Get out, and don't come back! 
Man, I can't believe Mr. Beaumont treated me like that. He wouldn't even let me speak. Maybe those billionaires aren't my real family after all. Keith, there you are. We missed you on the farm again. I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, I went into the town. I know where you went. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, sort of. I tried to talk to him, but he threw me out. Figures. Those billionaires, they always have a lot of security. Look, I really am sorry for not being there today. I know you needed my help, and... Yeah. I did. If you were really sorry, you'd have been there. I don't understand, Keith. Why isn't this family that you have good enough for you? It's not that, Dad. I love you all so much, but... But what is it? I've just always wondered. Always felt the pain of being abandoned, knowing that my birth family is out there somewhere. A family that once was mine, but they don't want me. Let me tell you something. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, okay? Maybe think about that before trying to force your little way into a family that doesn't want you. Hello? Bert, slow down. I'll be right there. What's wrong? Uh, Bert's truck broke down. Again. I've got to go help him. Thanks again for fixing this truck, Alex. I promised my dad I'd help Bert out with it. Yeah, no problem, dude. What are friends for? Hey, speaking of... Any luck with finding your family? Are you a billionaire yet or what? Nope, not at all. Oh, too bad. I was hoping you might end up paying me for this after all. I can pay you, I just don't have much. <laughs> just relax, dude. I'm just messing with you. It's on the house. Wow, thanks, man. Hey, did you hear the big news? Big news? I don't think so. Rumor around town is the billionaires are building a massive factory near here. And the pollution could really affect all our farms. That is awful. If I were part of that family, I would stop it. Yeah, too bad you're not. Guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. I feel bad though. Dad thinks I don't care about him or Bert. It's just, it's more than that to me. I just need to know why, you know? Yeah, man, I get it. I'd probably feel the same way too. What the heck is taking so long? My truck should have been done by now. Bert, if you don't shut your mouth, I'll re-break this truck so you can walk your sorry self home. You know what? You both suck, especially you, Keith. No family, no money, nothing. Just a broke, abandoned loser. Get out of my shop, Bert, now. Fine. This place is lame anyways. Can't handle that guy, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Your brother's a real piece of work. Man, groceries are getting so expensive. I barely had enough money. Whoa, Mr. Beaumont? There you are. It took forever to find you. You were looking for me, but why? Look, I got to thinking about what you said back at the conference. It really messed with my head. Look, I'm sorry. That wasn't what I wanted to do. There's a big chance you're nothing but a complete weirdo. But... There's a small chance you might actually be our long lost son. Look, before I was adopted, I was told that my family were billionaires. I never knew how anyone would know that, but I just had a feeling that it was true. There's a small chance it could be. Our baby was lost during a helicopter tour over the woods. We parked the helicopter for just a moment and somehow our baby went missing. I think I was found in the woods over by Eagle Ridge. That's where we were. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, we should go to a doctor and get a blood test. I need to see this on paper to believe it. Yeah, I would love to. Excellent. Let's go now. And don't touch anything in the car. Keith! Good that you're home. Dad, what are you doing up so late? I've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you how happy I am that you helped Bird out today with his truck. Oh, well, I couldn't just leave him hanging. We need that truck for the farm. Yeah, we do. And we didn't have the money to get it fixed. Your friend really did him a solid there. Yeah, no worries. Dad, I hope you know that I really do love you and appreciate everything that you've done for me. I know that. I'm sorry for how I acted earlier. I don't know what you're going through, but I see it's something. Something deep. Yeah, it is. And I talked to Mr. Beaumont today, too. I took a DNA test, and we're gonna find out the truth soon. Well, uh, that's good. I hope that brings some closure for you, Keith. But remember, you are a part of this family. We might not have much, but we have love and we work hard. And that, we are truly the rich ones. You understand? Uh, yeah, I think so too. And I want to help on the farm tomorrow. Anything you need, I've got your back. Good. We've got a lot to do. So get some sleep. We're gonna start early. Oh, this is tough work, but it feels good to be helping dad out. I'm really grateful for my family, but if it turns out that I'm related to the Beaumonts, 
What the heck? Not you again. You need to come with me right now. Hey, what's the meaning of this? You can't just land a helicopter here. You're scaring the animals. Shut up, old man. You must be the criminal. What? Criminal? Excuse me? You kidnapped the Beaumont son. Well, now he needs to finally come home with me. This is my home. Not anymore. The test results came back. You are the Beaumont son. No, he is my son. I raised him. Well, the cops are on their way. And if you don't tell this kid to come with me, it's going to get ugly for you. The cops? Look, I, I don't want to leave you, Dad. Yes, you do, Keith. This is truly what you wanted deep down. The truth. You're a Beaumont. Now go. Dad, no, look, I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. Oh my gosh, shut up. If you don't want your dad arrested, get in the helicopter in the next five seconds. Let's go. Okay, fine. I'll go. Whoa, this place is even bigger than I remember. Keith, you made it. I can't believe it. My son, after all these years, welcome home. You took me from my home. Why don't we just talk about things first? Oh, that? Yeah, listen, that was just a precaution, okay? Now that we found you, we need to know if someone actually kidnapped you. When you're a billionaire, you can't trust a lot of people. Yeah, well, my dad didn't kidnap me. He adopted me. We'll see you about that soon enough. Now, come on, let me show you around. Okay, wow, this is actually pretty amazing. Yeah, it is, obviously. Custom made and filled with filtered mineral water. By the way, um, you smell... Pretty terrible, son. Yeah, sorry. I was working on the farm all morning. Working on a farm? Ha! Yeah, no, 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 no. No more of that farming for you. Oh my gosh, Dad. What is that smell? Ew, is that a poor person? Orson, this is Keith, your brother. Keith, this is Orson. Nice to meet you, Orson. No, go get me a new brother. I can't be related to some poor idiot. Dude, watch it, man. What's the problem with you? My problem is you. No poor people are allowed on this property. Orson, I will take away your yacht privileges so fast your head will spin. Excuse me for a moment. Go for Beaumont. No, no, no. I said 70 million or no deal. Okay, I think this is going to take some getting used to. Yeah, well, I think you're a liar, and you're here to just steal my family's money. Well, guess what? I get that money, not you. I don't care about the money, dude. I just wanted to know my birth family. Okay, well then, here's a tip. Ha! Ah! Oh, what's your problem? You smell like garbage. Maybe consider taking a shower for once, idiot. This is all pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it's really nice out here. And thank you for the new clothes, by the way. You're a billionaire now, Keith. You should always wear at least $10,000 worth of clothing per outfit. Yeah, that's way too much money. I'm not going to do that. Oh, you're funny. You know, you'll get all used to it. It's really nice to be in nature, you know? Well, enjoy it for now because this is going to be a massive factory pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. The rumors, they're true. Oh, yeah. I'm tearing this all down. It's going to be perfect. That's going to destroy everything around here. Oh, it's fine. The pollution the factory's going to make will just run down the river and everything here will be fine. What about the land? The animals that live here? The farmers? My family's farm is nearby. You know, you worry too much. Plus, you could own the factory. <laughs> a factory is a lot cooler than a farm, if you ask me. Oh, hold on a second. Yep, go for Beaumont. Oh, Mr. Mayor! Yeah! This is the worst case scenario. I need to tell everyone what's going on. Gotta stay quiet. Robber! Ha! Ah! Bart! What the heck? Sorry, I thought he was robbing us. Oh no, it's me! Ah! You aren't supposed to be here. You're gonna get me in trouble, kid. Well, I had to come. You need to know that the Beaumonts, they're really going to build up a factory and it's going to ruin everything. And you're going to be part of it, aren't you? That's going to be your factory too, Mr. Beaumont. I don't want it, Bert. The factory, it's a terrible idea. Aha! I thought I heard something. You are under arrest for attempting to kidnap Keith. No, wait, it's a mistake. You just keep making more of a mess. Get out of here. I hate you. Dad, I'm bailing you out. 
Huh. I don't want your help, Keith. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to fix everything. I promise I will. I'm heartbroken, son. I get why you needed to know about your parents. But regardless of blood, you're still my son. I know, Dad. I just, I don't know what to do. Tell Mr. Beaumont to call off the case. I tried, but they just want to make sure that there was no plot to steal me. It'll all be over soon, okay? You obviously didn't do it. I just hope that these are good people, Keith. Money doesn't make you successful or happy. Get in, Dad. Let's go. Dad, wait. Just don't go yet. Stop talking to him. You'll get him arrested again. Sorry, son. I have to. You suck, Keith. Yeah, let's make the deal happen, Barnaby. And tell Jacobs the deal is off. That guy's a total loser. Dad, I need to talk. This investigation is nuts. I think it's gone way overboard. My dad didn't kidnap me. Look, I know he's your dad, but I'm your real dad. And you need to start being part of this billionaire family now. Understand? Why can't I be both? Why would you want to do that? That family is broke as dirt. You're a Beaumont. I don't want to be ripped away from my existing family. You were the one that did that to me. Ugh, look, I have a lot of opportunities I want to give you, Keith. Just get to know us better, and I promise you'll want us in your lives. I want you both in my life. But we've missed out on so much time together. I want you to stay here and spend time with us as a family. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Hey, dude! Man, is that you? <laughs> Look at you. What are you wearing? Yeah, just some stuff Mr. Beaumont bought me. Said I should look like a billionaire or something. You know, I'm really happy for you, man. Truly. Finding your real family, I know how much you've wanted that. It's huge. Yeah, I'm just torn, Alex. I'm trying to figure out if the Beaumonts are good people or not. What do you think of them? I don't know, honestly. Never met them. All I know is they're mega rich. Well, you were right about one thing. The factory. It seems like it's happening, dude. Oh, great. Bet they'll just buy up all the land after they pollute everything. I'm gonna do my best to stop it. I want my real dad to see that good or bad actions have consequences. Being super rich like him, I don't think he deals with them that often. Keith, that's a lot to ask for. And he has to be willing to learn. If not, it's never gonna work. But... If anyone can get through to him, it's probably you. Maybe this could be a good opportunity to help him understand, you know? Yeah, well, good luck. You're gonna need it. Dad, is that a new car? Yeah, it is. And it's for you. Wait, really? You're acting like you've never seen a Lambo before, son. Pull it together. Wow, thanks. But look, there's something that we need to talk about. You hate the color. I knew it! Look, we can just buy you another one, whatever color you want. No, that's not it. Look, it's about the factory you're building. I'm just concerned about how it's going to affect the town. Don't worry, Keith. Everything will be fine. You gotta be kidding me. Spoiling the poor now, Dad? Dude, give up. We're brothers, okay? We just gotta get along. Orson, he's right. We are a family now. Ugh, no we're not. Orson Thaddeus Beaumont, that is enough. Now you're not gonna get a new car for the 4th of July. Whatever, that car sucks anyways. And Keith, you're gonna pay for trying to act like you belong here. Cause you don't. Yeah, whatever, man. I don't understand what his problem is. Look, I'm gonna go for a drive, okay? I need to clear my head. Well, well, look at you, thinking you're so cool with your fancy new car. Come to rub our faces in your brand new money. Actually, Bert, I was thinking I could sell it. Why? You need an even bigger, flashier, more stupid car? No, we could get some new equipment for the farm. You suck, Keith. I'm glad you're not my real brother. I don't want to be related to you. What the heck? Orson? You think you can just come into our lives and take everything, don't you? You just hit my car, man. What's wrong with you? So what? You suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Keith. Even your real brother hates you, too. Whatever, guys. You're both literally the worst people in this world. Maybe Alex can fix this. Ugh, I want to punch his stupid face. Yeah, me too. You know, you're pretty cool for a poor. And I guess you're 
kind of cool for being a rich idiot or whatever. You know, we should make Keith pay for being such an idiot. Yeah, he's ruined both our lives and our families, and he's gonna regret it. Man, this car, it's unbelievable, dude. You should be stoked to have this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now let's go get some steaks. I owe you for fixing it. Yeah, you do. That was not cheap work, man. Dude, Orson, he thinks he could do whatever he wants. Yeah, and how are you feeling about all this, man? I can tell something's up. Look, I'm not sure, honestly. I thought I wanted to know my real family, but it's way more complicated than I imagined. Yeah, for real. And part of it's like seeing a life you missed out on, too. You could have grown up just like Orson. Yeah, it's true. I sort of miss life on the farm, but I also have this cool car and could do cool stuff and... It's a lot to take in, I know. Any update on that factory your dad's building? Honestly, my billionaire dad seems to be coming around a bit. Really? That's awesome! Oh, speaking of my dad... Hey, dad! Keith, I need you home right now! Are you... Okay, he hung up. Uh, sorry, Alex, I have to go. What the? Bert? What are you doing here? Keith, shut up! I'll ask the questions in my mansion. What is this I hear about you stealing money? I saw it, Dad. He offered $10 million to this poor named Bert. He is a monster! Stealing from us and giving away our money. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. It's true. I'd never take stolen money, though. Keith, how could a poor person be smarter than you? Dad, hold on, okay? Just listen to me. Sorry, son. Not listening anymore. Orson, you're gonna run the factory. You gotta be kidding me. That's the worst idea you've ever had. I only have good ideas. I'm a billionaire. I'm so distraught. I need to go count my Rolexes. Guess you're not so special now, are you? I'm gonna pay for lying to dad, Orson. Smell that, boys? That's the smell of business and money. Owning this place is gonna be lit. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. This factory is gonna make our family billions. You've done very well, Orson. Dad, this is a huge mistake. You can't just give Orson a factory like it's a toy. Shut up, Keith. You're just a loser. Always so jealous of me. No, you shut up, Orson. All right, boys, stop it. Orson turned 18. He deserves a business to run. It's how our family operates. He's gonna pollute everything. Don't you care about what it'll do to the farmers, to the land around you? Son, everything's gonna be okay. I promise. My lawyers and I have have thought this through and they told me everything's gonna be fine yeah well i don't think you have <sighs> whatever get out keith i've got important things to do unlike you i'm not gonna let you get away with this orson i've been really worried about that factory dude it's already starting to wreak havoc on the town yeah i feel awful about it too i thought i could change things but you said you were going to fix it you promised things would be different when you were in charge I was set up, Alex. Bert and Orson frame me for stealing money, so now my dad won't even listen to me. Ugh, those guys are the worst. Bert is a jerk, and Orson is too. Yeah, I know, but I'm not giving up, Alex. I'm gonna try and save everything, somehow. Can we get back at Orson or Bert? I don't know who to square up with first, but they both need to deal with the consequences. They'll be dealt with, but right now, we need to find a way to minimize the damage that this factory's causing. Ha oh, ha yeah. Yeah, people are so dumb. What the heck is going on here? Oh, Keith, didn't you hear? Bert is gonna be my new business partner. Bert, is that true? Yeah, Dad and I need the money. You know, we're not all billionaires like you. Bert, if you take that job, you're turning your back on the farm, on our dad. I don't care, Keith, and neither did you. You're the one that left us for money for the stupid Beaumonts. Yo, watch it, dude. Yeah, sorry. With the money I'm gonna make from Orson, I can buy 10 farms anywhere else in the world. Yeah, well, what about dad, huh? What about him? I'll buy him one too. And plus, he's not your real dad anyways. So stop pretending like you care. My dad isn't yours either. You don't deserve a family. Bert, do the right thing. If you're gonna take this job, at least make sure that no pollution gets out. Protect the farm and dad. Just leave, Keith. No one wants you here or anywhere.
Yo, Alex, what's up, dude? Keith, you need to come down to my shop right now. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh my goodness, it's the factory's pollution. You promised me this wouldn't happen, dude. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would spread this far this fast. What happened to you, man? The money's really changed you, hasn't it? You gotta be kidding me. No, it hasn't, Alex. I wish I never met that family. These billionaires, they don't care about anyone else. Yeah, and it seems like you fit right in with them. You don't mean that. I do. Fix this, Keith. Or I don't know if we can be friends anymore. Look, I'm gonna try to fix it as much as I can. I'll try to make things right. What the heck, guys? Dumping all that pollution is not just wrong, it's illegal. Who's gonna complain, huh? Yeah, not me, that's for sure. See, I've never done anything wrong ever in my life. Bert, what has gotten into you? Well, I'm rich now, and I agree with Orson. I can do whatever I want. Just a week ago, you weren't rich, and all of a sudden, you've got money, and you forget about everyone else in your life? I got an opportunity, Keith, and I took it. You hated me, judged me when I met my billionaire family, thought I was just in it for the money, and look at you now. I'm going to make more money and become more powerful than you could ever be. Whatever, Bert. I promise you're going to regret this, man. You're not going to get away with anything. Security! Yeah, get him out of here. He smells like broke poor. Oh, no. Dad! I can't believe this. Keith! My own sons turned their backs on me. Now look, my life's work, my, my legacy, it's gone. Dad, it wasn't me, okay? You should have never brought those billionaires around. They ruined everything. You're right, okay? I, I didn't know about my old family. My real family was always right here. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, son. I understand. I'm just heartbroken, and now I'm gonna be broke too. No, Dad. I think there's something that I can do. Okay, I just need to access some files. He has to have something in here. Uh, hello? What the heck do you think you're doing? Trying to expose what you're doing here, Arson. You're ruining lives and destroying the land. Yeah, so what? I told you, you can't stop me. Yeah. I know. Luckily, I don't listen to you. You are the worst. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take your dad's land next, Keith. And then I'm going to fire your dumb brother, Bert. I thought he was funny. And he got rich. Well, that idiot's already blown through all his money. And now he's poor again. And I don't associate with poor. Let alone do business with them. So you're just ruining people's lives now. All for what? More money in your pocket? Yeah, basically. Now get out before I make your life even more miserable. Dad, we need to talk. Uh, what's bothering you now, Keith? Orson's factory. It's destroying everything. How could you let this happen? Orson runs that business, not me. And frankly, I'm too busy to concern myself with some silly little farms or pollution or whatever you're talking about. If you don't care about those farms, then you don't care about me. That's not fair, Keith. Of course I care about you. You don't care about me at all. All you care about is money. Well, then we'll just buy out the farmers, make them all rich, and everything will be fine. People love money, especially poor people. It isn't fine. It's far from fine. You're not fixing anything. You're just destroying their lives. You know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of you. Please, let's just talk this through, okay? We can make a deal here, right? A deal? I'm not just one of your business partners. I'm your son. There's nothing left to talk about. You could fix this, but you won't. I'm ashamed that you're my dad. Keith, I owe you a real apology. I lashed out at you and it wasn't fair. I was a total jerk. I was just so mad about everything that's happened and I took it out on you. Look, I'm sorry too, okay, for everything that's happened. But we need to focus now to make things right. We have to get proof that Orson and his factory are completely terrible. We need to catch him in the act, polluting the land red-handed. If we can catch them, the law will be on our side and people will have to intervene and we'll save the land from further destruction. I think I know where the pollution's coming from. It's near the riverbanks close to that factory. We'll use that data to expose them and reveal the truth. I like where your head's at. Let's set a trap. Man, our factory sure does make a lot of this toxic wasted stuff. Oh, yeah. So just dump it. Let's get rid of it, dude. What the heck do you think you're doing? 
Oh, great. This loser again. Mind your own business, Keith. No, you're destroying everything. There's nothing you can do about it, dude. Just accept it. You guys are both horrible people. I want no part in a family that's going to act like this. Well, good. Because no family wanted you anyways. Not even in the orphanage, you stupid idiot. At least I didn't turn my back on my real family when things got tough. Just shut up and move, Keith. We've got more dumping of this toxic stuff to do. Uh, what's that? Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing an environmental scandal unfold directly below us. Orson Beaumont and Bert are caught red-handed dumping barrels of toxic waste near a local town. Authorities are en route to manage this catastrophic pollution cover-up. No, I don't want to go to jail. Ugh, you suck, Keith. Congratulations, it's a beautiful baby boy. Fantastic, another trillionaire. The legacy continues. What is that? Oh no, it's criminals. They found out that you're here. Where are those stupid trillionaires? Quick, this trillionaire suite has a secret passage. Go now, save your family. Thank you, doctor. Hey, yo, where are the trillionaires? They aren't here, you monsters. You're too late. Hurry, darling. Pilot, get this plane out of here. We need to leave now. Go, go. This isn't safe. We shouldn't be flying in this. We have no choice, dear. Those robbers won't stop coming for us or our fortune. Ah! What was that? The plane is going down. No. John, John, where are you? <coughs> I'm here. Our plane is destroyed. Don't worry, Susan. We'll just buy another one. The baby. Where's our baby? He's over here. Oh, thank goodness. See, it takes a lot to hurt us trillionaires. I can't believe we're all okay. We're going to name you Shane. About time, Mike. Yeah, we're fine. Just a plane crash. Send a helicopter, okay? Oh, let's go. It's my birthday. Yes, I've told you a hundred times. I want it to be Gucci or else it's worthless. Hey, Mom. Busy Shane, go bother your dad. I don't care if they don't make it. I want it. Hey, Dad. This is unacceptable. You test me again and I'll destroy you. Hey, Dad, hey. What, Shane? Can't you see I'm busy yelling at these idiots? Sorry, it's just my birthday. I thought maybe we could have breakfast together. Breakfast? I get my fuel from making deals, not food. Wait, how old are you now? Uh, Dad, I'm 16. I just got my license, remember? Oh, yeah. Come with me. It's time you start acting like a trillionaire. Happy birthday, Shane, or whatever. This is for me? Yeah, obviously. Do you see anyone else here? Oh, Bert, about time. You better have good news or I'm gonna lose it. Man, I wish that my dad would just, like, hang out with me, especially on my birthday, but, I mean, this is pretty sweet. I gotta try it out. Whoa, this car's way too fast. Ah! Wow, you really suck at driving, Shane. Oh, I'm learning, man. I just got my license the other day. Well, learn better. Uh, okay, thanks. Are my, are my parents coming to pick me up? What? No! Your parents are busy trillionaires. They're sending a helicopter. I don't want a stupid helicopter. Where do you think you're wobbling off to? Away from you, man. Man, I can't believe they wouldn't even come pick me up. What's wrong with them? Ow! Oh, man, these stupid crutches. Dude, are you okay? What? No. I'm, uh, wait, Clark, what are you doing here, man? Aren't you working at the marina? I was, but I heard about your accident. I wanted to make sure you're okay. Thanks, man. It really means a lot. It's been a tough day. You're the only person that showed up. My parents didn't even bother to come. Well, I'm sure they're just, like, busy or something. Too busy for my birthday, too busy for a hospital visit. Wait, it's your birthday? No way! Happy birthday, man! Yeah, thanks, dude. Hey, let's go get some dinner, my treat. Nah, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. You said you had a rough day. There's nothing a double cheeseburger can't fix. Yeah, actually, that sounds pretty good, man. I'll take you up on it. Thanks. You can just drop me off here. If my dad sees me with someone who isn't a trillionaire, he's gonna lose it. No offense, but your dad sounds like a jerk. Yeah, you're not wrong. But anyway, thanks for today, man. It was a really good birthday. Of course, dude. Anytime. I'll catch you later. There he is! How dare you? What? You're mad at me? 
That was a $500,000 car you trashed like a poor who can't drive. You could have been seriously hurt. Well, you guys wouldn't have known anyway. You left me at the hospital on my birthday. You didn't even come and visit. Oh, we're busy, Shane. Yeah, of course you were. You're always too busy every single time. I want real parents, not just a bank account. You're bad-mouthing our wealth and you're being annoying. Get out of my sight. Gladly. Thanks for a terrible birthday. Hey, Shane, you taking out your dad's yacht today? Nah, man, just came down and wanted to say thank you again for yesterday. You're a solid friend, dude. That was cool. Uh, what is this? Hey, you! Why isn't my yacht clean yet? That's not my job? You're poor, aren't you? It sounds like a poor person's job to me. Shut up, Chad. Stop being such a jerk, man. Seriously, Shane? You're spending time with this loser? You're gonna catch poor. You're the real loser here, man. You treat people like garbage. Just shut up. You're an embarrassment to the trillionaire club associating with the likes of him. Yeah, well, you're an embarrassment to humanity. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. In fact, you're kind of worse than everybody. Yeah, well, honestly, whatever. I've got to go help my dad seal another billion dollar deal. Can't wait to spill the beans to your dad about your new friend. Man, that guy's the worst. Dude, this has been a really fun day. Thanks again, man. I should be thanking you for helping me out at work today. It made things so much easier having an extra set of hands. Yeah, of course. I've always loved the ocean, and I learned so much today. I'm glad I could pitch in. It was actually kind of fun. Dude, what the heck? You can't drive on my lawn? My parents are gonna kill me. Tell them to shut up. This should cover the cost of the shack that you call a home. Dad, what are you doing? This is my friend, say sorry. You should be apologizing to me. You embarrassed our family today. How, by having fun and hanging out with my friend? First, by befriending marina workers over potential business partners like Chad. Second, you actually worked at the marina? Yeah, it was fun. That is not what trillionaires do. It's below us. I don't care. No jobs beneath me. Today was a good day, and I got to spend it with my friend. What's so bad about that? Enough of this. This ends now. Get in the car. No. I said get in now. <sighs> Sorry, Clark. He's just going to keep doing this until I go. It's okay. Your dad really is the worst. I heard that. Keep talking, and you lose your marina job, poor loser. Yeah, whatever. You are, without a doubt, the worst trillionaire ever! I don't care about being a trillionaire. I want real friends, Dad. You sound stupid! Everybody wants to be a trillionaire, and money will be your friend! No, it won't! Just look at you! You're the poorest rich person I've ever met! What does that even mean? Well, you surround yourself with all this stuff, but you're not happy! You're always angry, and the only reason people tolerate you is because you're rich! You don't have anything! So what? I love being rich! It's sad. I want more out of life than just being rich. Ugh, Shane, you'll understand when you're older. There's nothing sad about this life. Dad, I just want a regular family. I want you to love me as much as you love your money. That's impossible. I love money the most. I am so tired of you whining. Tomorrow, you're spending the day with Chad. He already has a good knack for business. What? No way. Chad sucks. I'm not hanging out with that guy. I know he sucks, but I don't care. Whether you like it or not, you will learn to be a proper trillionaire, and I'm gonna make sure of it. Oh great, it's Shane. Why do I have to hang out with you? You're so lame. Shut up, Chad. Yeah, shut up, Chad. We owe his father a favor. Plus, they do have more money than us. We have to give Shane a lesson on how to truly be a trillionaire. Ugh, fine, whatever. Good, I leave it up to you then, son. Show Shane around or something. I've got work to do. So this is like my dad's office or whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is cool. Now shut up and come on. This is where all the losers work. Dude, you can't treat people like that. These people are working hard here. Oh my gosh, you're a dumb baby that knows nothing, huh? You've got to understand people don't matter. Only two things do, me and my money. All right, well, first of all, you don't even run a business. This is your dad's. And then you just parade around this office pretending your dad's money is yours. Because it is. No, it's not. And second, I'd rather be poor than turn into somebody like you. You're just a loser, Shane. A complete, utter waste. The real loser's you, man. All right, enough. Both of you are so annoying. Get out of my office now. Oh, gosh, thank goodness. Yeah, dude, and then he just called my dad. Like, this whole thing's a mess. 
Oh, man, you must be in so much trouble. Dude, that guy is the worst. Yo, what, what's that noise? I have no idea. Dad, what the heck? You two are trespassing on my property. This is my parents' house. Oh, great. The poor is talking to me. Ugh. Not anymore, poor. I just bought it. What? No way, dude. They wouldn't sell our home. I offered them a cool million. They'll be fine. Dad, what is wrong with you? You embarrassed me for the last time, Shane. I made an investment, and this is a lesson for you. Being a trillionaire isn't easy. Please, Dad, don't destroy his house. Oh, I won't just destroy it. I'm going to turn it into rubble. And after that, you're off to a trillionaire-only charter school. No, please don't do this. This place is going to make a great parking lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clark. I'm so sorry, man. You have to be the worst trillionaire I've ever had the displeasure of teaching. Yeah, well, you're probably the worst trillionaire professor I ever had, so I guess we're even. I hate to say it, but you can graduate. Your dad, after all, did pay a lot of money to our school. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Well, thanks, I guess. Oh, my goodness. It's my mom and dad. Are you serious? Of course they aren't here. Is the big smelly baby looking for his mommy and daddy? <laughs> Looks like they ditched you again. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Well, my dad just got me a private jet. He's so proud of me. Wow, good for you, man. You graduated with the worst GPA in the school's history. Breaking records already. <laughs> You're so jealous of me. No, not really, man. The last two years being around you has been terrible. Well, brace yourself, loser, because your dad just bought my dad's company. Looks like we're going to be partners, huh? Uh, I don't care, Chad. Why are you talking to me? Well, you should care. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again really soon. My jet's waiting, though. Later, loser. Well, I guess I got to try to find an Uber. Either way, I got to get out of here. Mom? Dad? Hello? Anyone home? Classic. No one's here. Quimby, are you stupid? I told you to book that meeting at 2.14, not 2.15. Now my whole schedule is off. Sweetie, I'm glad you're home. Oh, yeah, hey, guys. You'll do what I tell you or you're fired, Quimby. Cool, you're back. So did you graduate or did they finally kick you out? I graduated. Oh, honey, I'm so thrilled. Yeah, that's good news. Now that you're a grown-up, it's time for you to learn the ropes of the family business. No, I'm good. I'm going to do something else. What does that even mean? Means I don't want to learn your business. I want to make my own. Shane. Well then, if that's your choice, your bill for the trillionaire school is two million dollars. What? You didn't think that luxurious education came for free, did you? But you already paid for the tuition, and you made me go to that school. I would have gone somewhere else. You either step up and learn the family business, or pay me back the two million. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. I don't have that kind of money. I'm broke. Well, then good thing you've got a job now. Your first day's tomorrow. Travis, this better be good news or I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Man, this is so messed up. My dad's making me work in this parking lot where Clark's house used to be. So if you're like a trillionaire at all, why are you out here working in the lot? I'm just trying to pay my dad back for school. Oh, right. Your dad owns this place, doesn't he? Jenkins, I don't pay you to stand around. I pay you to work. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. It's day one, Shane, and you're already distracting my employees and ruining productivity. You're just asking me a question, Dad. You know, like being a human being? No, no, I don't think that's right. You need to stop treating people like dirt. And you need to start acting like a trillionaire. No more low common worker stuff. Learn the business from me and your debt will be paid off. Ugh, great. It's Quimby. I need to take this. Make it fast, you dumb moron. What? What do you mean they're late? Man, this just feels so weird. I can't stop thinking about Clark. Maybe I should try to go see him after work. Shane, whoa, man. I haven't seen you in like two years. Yeah, I know, man. It's been a while. Not since your dad, you know, destroyed my childhood home. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm so sorry about that. My dad's such a jerk. And then when he sent me to the trillionaire school, he didn't give me a phone. Yeah, well, it was a pretty messed up thing to do, man. So what brings you here now after all this time? Dude, I miss hanging out with you. I just want to be friends again. I missed you a lot too, man. You know, I'd love to hang out with you. You still working at the marina? Nah, not anymore. I've been kind of working on my own business idea. I've had it for a while. Well, that's awesome. Well, I mean, if you need a job in the meantime, you can work at my dad's company, I guess. It would give you some money until your business takes off. Thanks for the offer, but I could never work for your dad, Shane. I can forgive you for what happened, but not him. 
Yeah, I totally get it. All right, you did all the dumb worker stuff. Now it's time for you to start working in the office. Uh, aren't you gonna show me around? Show you around? What? No. No, I'm far too busy for that. Figure it out yourself. There's no way I'm gonna be working with you. Oh, great. Just what I needed. You're such a loser idiot. You don't even know how to act rich like me. Loser idiot? Great insult, man. Just great insult. Yeah, well, that's what you are. You chill out. If it helps, I actually think you're a loser. And trust me, I don't want to work here as much as you don't want me here. Well, then why don't you just quit and solve both our problems? You're ruining my life. I can't. I owe my dad money. So I'm going to have to tough it out. I suggest you do the same. Oh, money? What does that even mean? Gosh, man, do you even hear yourself talk? Yeah, I hear myself talk all the time. Don't you ever get sick of it? No, shut up! Mark my words, Shane. I'm going to make your life miserable for working here. You don't know what's coming. Man, I can't believe my dad wants all this done by the end of the day. I'm going to be here for like another 10 hours. Hey, Shane. Just wanted to apologize for how I acted earlier. Hold on, what? Yeah, I was mean. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. I actually think you're going to be a great addition to the team. Wow, thanks. In fact, I got a surprise for you in the lobby. Go check it out. Wow, cool, man. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. Of course, he's just trying to prank me. Shane, what is wrong with you? One day in this office and you're already destroying company property. What? I didn't break it. The computer was fine when I left the room. So it just magically broke itself. You must think I'm an idiot. No, it must have been Chad. You owe me $2 million. And now I'm going to add on whatever this computer thing costs. Just get back to work and finish that project. How am I supposed to work on the project? I don't have a computer. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Figure it out. I've always loved the water and working on these boats. It's so peaceful here. You can see why, man. I love it here, too. It's sick. You know, my business idea is to sell boats. I think there's so much potential there. Dude, it sounds so much better than working with my dad. I mean, it's my dream. I've had it for a long time. I've been saving for a while, but I need more capital if I really want to make this successful. How about this? I've saved a bunch of money. So my dad pays me pretty good. What if I just invested that money I saved and put it into your business? But won't your dad be mad at you for technically giving me money? Yeah, probably, but he's always mad at me. Well, I know that, but I mean, you owe him money. It's going to make him double mad. Well, if we can make this business work, I can pay him back. Then he's got nothing to say. Yo, loser. Still working at the marina? I thought you moved on from this dump. Shut up, Chad. Not everybody just has everything handed to them like you, okay? Well, that's a shame because it's kind of awesome. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Poor Z. Dude, I'm not going to listen to this guy who's never worked a single day in his life. Actually, I do work at a real job. This is a real job. No, it's not. This is where my dad parks his boat. A boat garage. It's a poor person's job. It's just a small step in my business. Just wait and see what happens, dude. Yeah, whatever, chumps. While you're dreaming, I'll be on my dad's yacht. How could you, Shane? Well, it wasn't that hard. Investing in a stupid company while you owe me money? Have I taught you nothing? Well, you did teach me to take advantage of investment opportunities, Dad. And Clark has potential. You don't know what he's capable of. Potential? If that poor had any potential, he'd already be rich, not peddling some boats at a marina. It's enough. He's my friend, okay? He's a person. Barely, he's a poor person. Well, look, I'm starting this business with Clark. It's way better than sitting in that office all day. It's cold in there anyway. I like being outside. You shut your dumb mouth. It's not cold. It's called air conditioning. And that's what rich people have. If you keep making foolish decisions like this, you're not going to have a job with me for any longer. Really? You're going to fire me? If you want to keep your job, you'll stop helping Clark's dumb baby dreams. Well, I can't make any promises, Dad. I know what I want to do, and it's not working for you. Great. Bert, how many times do I need to tell you? I expect good news. This all looks pretty nice and stuff, but with a price like this, how can I be sure? Clark and I fixed this boat up ourselves. That's why we can offer it at a much more affordable rate than other people. Exactly. And we've tested it ourselves a hundred times. It's completely safe. Quality and safety are our top priority. Quality and safety sound pretty good. 
you guys also seem kind of smart. So here, take this money. Thanks for the boat, man. Well, thanks for trusting us. Enjoy it. Dude, we make an amazing team. We nailed that sale. Yeah, we did. First of many, dude. Dude, and I want to help you out with the debt you owe your dad. Let's split the profits from this. Wait, really, man? I mean, you found this first boat and you did most of the work. Yeah, but you helped. And you really made the sale, not me. I kind of hate talking to people. Here, take this. Wow, thanks, dude. I'm going to start paying off my dad now. It's going to be awesome. Look, I know you just invested in me first, but why don't you and I be business partners? Let's make this official. Dude, I would love that. That sounds awesome. Awesome. And I just got a lead on a brand new boat to fix. So we're going to be making a whole lot of money real soon. Shane, are you going to admit it to me or are we going to play a dumb little game? What are you talking about? Don't play stupid, man, even though you naturally are. Oh, Chad, cut it out. Why are you so upset, Dad? How much money have you been stealing from this company? None. Why would I ever take money from this company? Obviously to fund your friend's stupid boating business. No, that's not true. I put in all the money that I earned and saved on my own. Well, then where has all my money been going? There are millions of dollars missing from our company's accounts. You're going to pay for this. I'm your son. Do you really think I'd steal from my own family? Yeah, you did. And you made a terrible investment. That's what I said, Thad. It's ch Chad, sir. I've had enough of both of you. I quit. Good. Get out. And remember, you still owe me $2 million. Yeah, you'll get your money, Dad. That's all you ever care about anyway. Dude, another boat sold. That's the 10th one this week. I know. This business is really starting to take off. I made enough money to pay off my dad's debt already. I thought it would have taken me way longer. We're on to something good here, dude. If we keep this up, this business is going to be huge. Clark! Hey, Clark! What do you want, Chad? I want you to do your job. Wash my boat now! Chad, I don't work here anymore. We're dropping off the boats that we sold. Every time you see me, you ask me to wash your boat. That's never been my job. It's not. And you guys are selling your dumb boat still? Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Not really, man. Our business is doing great. Way better than you'd think. Sure, whatever. So if you're not going to wash my boat, who is? You know, some people wash their boats themselves. Ew, literally, you're so disgusting, Shane. Is that all of it? Yeah, Dad, I made sure that was all of it. Including interest? Yes, including interest. Just take the money. Well, I must admit, I really didn't think you were going to be able to pull this off on your own. It's because you always underestimate me. You always judge me for not acting and being exactly like you. You're right, I did. And you're nothing like me, Shane. But I've got to say, you've made yourself into a mediocre business person. Thanks, I know coming from you, that was actually a genuine compliment. Why don't you just come back and work for me again? With that drive that you've got and what you've learned, you'd be unstoppable. Nah, I'm good. I just want to do my own thing with Clark. Well, uh, at least come back home. It's empty without you here. The staff sucks and your mom is always out with her friends. No, I don't think so, Dad. I need to keep making it on my own. Very well, then. Good luck, uh, I guess. Thanks, Dad. So do you want to take it? I mean, it's a really beautiful boat. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I mean, you just seem like a trustworthy guy, Shane. No, wait, you can't buy this boat. Chad, go away. Hey, 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 wait, hold on a second. What's this guy talking about? Look, you need to trust me on this. From one rich guy to another, Shane's boats, they're terrible. They're not safe. But he said they were. They are, I promise. Chad, stop lying and get out of here. You have to believe me, dude. These boats sink all the time. Do rich people lie to other rich people? What? Of course they do. They do it all the time. Especially you, Chad. Well, this other rich guy does make a point. And you're not rich like us. So I trust him. Chad, you've crossed the line, man. Now I'm actually getting mad. Well, you and your poor pathetic friend have another thing coming. And get used to being mad. I heard poor people are all mad all the time. You're literally the worst person in the world. Yeah, well, at least I'm rich. Aww. Not going to let him get away with this. No one's going to ruin this business. I'm so sorry, dude. Chad totally ruined this for us. No, it's just one sale, man. We're going to have plenty more opportunities. You're right. Things are going smoothly. I'm just worried Chad's going to keep trying to mess with us. Ah, forget him. Speaking of opportunities, I got a lead. There's a big fancy party happening this weekend. Dude, I bet a ton of rich people will be looking for boats. 
Exactly. So we need to get ourselves in there. And who knows? Maybe we can land a few mega sales. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's just hope Chad doesn't show up. Whoa, this party's super fancy. Uh, I bet my dad's here somewhere. Hey, I recognize you. Oh, yeah, you probably know my dad, the trillionaire. Nah, nah. I think you sold a boat to my friend, man. He's been talking about how awesome that thing is. He said that the custom work you did to it was sick. Oh, really? That's awesome. Well, I've got a bunch more that I'm trying to sell. Yeah, excellent. I've been on the market for a new boat for a while. My old one's like kind of old, you know? <laughs> so I sank it by accident last week. I wasn't paying attention, but like, whatever. I need a new boat, man. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Someone probably should have been driving the yacht, you know? Hey, Barnabas, you can't buy a boat from this idiot. They're the worst on the market. Chad, when will you get a life, dude? It's really sad. You have to trust me, dude. I'm rich like you. Well, I have no idea who you are, man. How'd you even get in here? Also, like, who cares if you have money or not? It doesn't define your character. Well, it should. Yo, is this guy serious? You better get out of here before I call security, man. No, don't do that. I I'll go. Gosh, man, that guy is terrible. Anyway, where were we? Well, look, man, I know you were talking about you want a new boat. We got plenty of yachts if you want to come look at them. Nah, I don't need to look at it, man. You seem like you're cool. My buddy liked the one that you sold him. Let's just buy the boat right now. Just wire you the money, bruh. Man, I can't believe it's my birthday again. I never thought I'd be where I am now. It's wild how fast time goes by and how much you can accomplish if you really work hard. Shane! Shane! Dad, why are you here? Well, I, uh, I wanted to... Talk about how well you've been doing with your business. Got to admit, I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, thanks. Is this a, is this a house? It's awfully small to be a house, isn't it? Was there anything you wanted to say to me? Why are you in my house? Look, I'm not sure what your attitude's about. You just walked into my house. Did you come here to talk business or what? Well, yes, business is always on my mind. Do you think I'd just come to this tiny little house for fun? Well, it is my birthday, Dad, so clearly you didn't remember. Oh my gosh, cry about it some more, Shane. I don't remember small things like that. They're irrelevant. The day I was born is irrelevant? All right, man, whatever. Anyway, my time is valuable, and I'm sick of spending it here in this closet you call a home. Wow, father of the year over here, huh? I want to discuss expanding my business. I think a partnership with you could be really beneficial for us, meaning me. No, Dad, I don't want that. I don't want you as a business partner. I want you as my father. You've got one. You just said I was father of the year. It was a joke. You're a terrible father. You've always been too busy with your work, your deals, your empire. You never thought about me, and you step on everybody. You treat everybody like trash. That's just the trillionaire way. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't care about the trillionaire way. What I want right now is for you to just leave me alone. It's my birthday. I've got plans. Dude, did you ever think we'd be standing here? Look at all this. All those boats. We sold every single one of them. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't think this was going to happen when I was scrubbing the decks of other people's yachts for video game money. That's for sure. Man, I'm really happy that we did this together. Me too, man. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I don't think any of this would have really happened. Best part is, is we did it on our own. We didn't take my dad's interference or help. Everything we did was because of hard work. Yeah, feels really accomplishing standing here now. Thanks, Clark. You're a great friend. Thanks for always being there for me. No, it's not fair. Shane thinks he can get everything through hard work. Oh, it's so stupid. Well, he wants to be richer than me. He wants to make me look stupid. Then this whole family is going to pay for this. Oh, sweet. Now I've got all his dad's money. It's mine. <laughs> I need to get out of the country fast. Huh, what's this? Did the deal go through? What? What the heck is this? My bank account is zero dollars? That's impossible! I've been robbed! Bert, where's all my money? Shane! Shane! Oh, phew, there you are. Thank goodness I found you in this closet. What is it, Dad? I need your help right now. My help? What are you talking about? Why? Chad stole all the money from my accounts. All of it. You're a trillionaire. Surely you can figure it out yourself, right? You don't get it, Shane. He took everything from me. I'm, I'm... Poor? Don't you ever call me that again. How dare you? <laughs> Look, I'll do what I can to help you. But you built your empire from the ground up. You can probably figure this out yourself, too. I know I haven't been the best father to you, and I'm sorry for that. 
should have listened to you about Chad from the beginning. That means a lot. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, I never thought I'd be broke, but here we are. I'll do my best to help you fix this. But you need to work on being my dad, not just a business partner. I understand, and I agree. I'm just gonna take my dad's boat. I don't even care. I'll repay him with my trillions of dollars. Oh, let him cry about it, stupid dad. You're not going anywhere with my dad's money. You? How did you find me? It was pretty easy. You tweeted about all the money you just got randomly, going to cruise around the world. Whatever. You suck, Shane. I know how to use all this money so much better than you and your dad. That money was never mine, and it's definitely not yours. Shut up. It's mine now. So get off my boat, idiot. Ah! Ah. Rufus, he's in here. Is this the little man's right here? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yes. Okay. You under arrest now, y'all. You going to Yale. Hi, you must be Jim. I'm Francis, and this is Meredith. We're going to be your new parents. Now, come on, boys. The limo's waiting for us. Oh, awesome. Now, when you get to the neighborhood, you're going to see a lot of really, really big Everyone houses. out of the car. Give me everything you got. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, this limo swing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. It's not a big deal. Let me just call my helicopter guy and he'll fly us out of here in a minute. Hey, Kyle, it's Francis. Yep, I need another pickup. Welcome home, honey. This is your house? It's huge. Also, you do have a brother. Ah, there he is, Brad. Hi, Brad. Oh, gross. Ugh, get out what? of here. Ow, hey, Dad, please. there's another Brad, one again. Stop it, stop it. This is your new brother, Jim. What, new brother? I didn't have a brother. Now, Brad, that is no way to behave. You need to learn to like your new brother. Otherwise, I'll take away your private jet. And by the way, we're renovating Jim's room. So for the meantime, he's going to share yours. I've never had my own room before. Yeah, of course you have Brad, it. why don't you just go cool off somewhere else? Yeah, whatever. Jim, why don't we go take a ride in the Bugatti? A Bugatti? Yeah, sure. You know, I'm really sorry about Brad. He has trouble meeting new people. Regardless, I think this is the coolest place in the world. I'm really happy to have a family. And we're really happy to have you too, Jim. All right, boys, we're going to do the housework together. I'll be more than happy to help you out with the house, Mom. What do you want me to do? You want me to do the dishes, laundry, paint the house? Ew, we pay people to do this stuff for us. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Brad, I think it would be good for you to learn some skills. Come on, Brad, let's get to work. The faster we do it now, the more time we have for ourselves later. You can't tell me what to do. I'm not doing anything. I don't mind helping you out with whatever you got going on. Are you just here for, like, our money or something? I just wanted a family, and now I got one. Oh, my God. Gosh, this is so pathetic. No, it isn't. You should show your parents some respect. You have no idea how lucky you are to have them. They've given you everything here, dude. You live in a mansion. You know, you suck, Jim. You think you could just walk in here and change everything? Well, I'm just going to sit here and let you be mean to your parents. That's right. My parents. No one loves you or wants you. That's why you were stuck in this stupid orphanage. Hey, that's not true. You better shut up and take that back. Oh, yeah? Or what? You can't do anything about it! Oh! Hey, man, you better watch it! Huh. Oh! Oh, my gosh, I hate you! Oh, man, I'm exhausted. Where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going into our room to sleep. Oh, your room is done. You're not sleeping in my room anymore. It is? I don't remember Mom and Dad saying anything. Trust me, it's done. Let me show you. Sorry about earlier. I just got, like, heated and stuff, you know? And I just really wanted to punch you in the face. But that wasn't right, and I'm sorry. But don't worry about it. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for apologizing. Yeah, well, whatever. So this is, like, your room or something. What? That's the doghouse, Brad. That's not funny. Not yet it isn't. Huh. Ah! <laughs> Brad! Brad, let me back in! I don't think so. Sleep in the doghouse for the night, idiot. What? Are you serious? Brad, come on! Oh, man, that was amazing. I never thought I would ever be at a red carpet event. Well, we've got plenty more of those to go to. Trust me. Thank you so much for this, Dad. It's just that I, I never thought I would ever have a family as caring as this. Well, you know, I was adopted, too. So I'm happy to have you a part of the family. Wow, you were adopted, too? Yeah, it's a long story. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. And that's incredible. I never thought I would have a dad or a family. Now that I have one, I never want it taken away from me. You're coming with me. What? No! No, please! What? No, don't take my dad! Just don't hurt my son! Dad, no! Come back! Dad! Get back here! 
Oh, I'm out of breath. Jim, what just happened? Well, some guys came and took dad. My dad. And I can't believe you didn't stop him. Where were you? Uh, I was busy taking pictures with Jenna Ortega at the event. This stuff didn't happen until you came around. You know you that? You can't pin this on me. I had nothing to do with this. But whatever we do, we have to find our dad. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, Brad. I'm going to find our dad. Jim, man, oh my gosh, it's been so long. Oh, hey, Tony, how's it going? It's really great to see you. Yeah, it's really good to see you too. And I heard about your new dad. Are you okay? I'm worried. I've been doing everything I can to find him. On top of that, I think my brother hates me. Wait, really? Well, why? I really don't know. Ever since I was adopted, he's acted really aggressive towards me. He was really weird about his dad getting taken. Like, almost he didn't care. What? That is super weird. Well, I guess you could say that being rich doesn't really solve your problems, does it? That guy's super rich and he's absolutely miserable. Being rich actually does help some problems. Here, I want you to have this. Jim? What is this? Oh, well, you know, just $10,000. $10,000? No, no, I don't want this. Tony, you're my best friend. You've been there with me since I was a kid. We're, we're practically brothers. Yeah, but I didn't earn this money. I really don't deserve it. Yes, you do, Tony. You're my friend. You've always been there for me, and you definitely deserve this money. It's a whole lot, Jim. Thank you. It's the least I can do. Oh, my mom's calling me. Maybe she found out something about my dad. Hello, mom? Jim, you need to get to the airport now. It's important. Oh, man. I can't believe we're on an island. Is this where we're going to find dad? Oh, my gosh. No, you idiot. Huh, we're on vacation. Vacation? Why are we on vacation? Dad is missing. We gotta find him. Obviously, Dad's missing, and I was sad, and I thought this would cheer us up. Yes, it was a very sweet idea, Brad. I can't believe this. We should be out there looking for him right now. Oh my gosh, just chill out, Jim, okay? Turns out someone just wanted some ransom money, and we're gonna pay it, obviously. Jim, I promise everything's gonna be fine. This is not fine. This is not normal I at all. I know. And that's why we have our best people on it. And it'll be over sooner than you think. I need to go to the beach and relax. Relax? How can I relax? My dad's being held hostage. Oh my gosh, will you just shut up already? Uh, did you just throw money at yeah, me? Yeah, dude, enjoy it. It's the first time in your life you've ever had any. Do you even know what to do with money? Since you're so poor, I mean, you've barely used it. I really don't have time to think about money right now. You should stop thinking about money too and actually care about your dad. I do you care about my dad? I also love money, okay? Being rich is all that matters to you, then man, I'd rather be poor. I'm gonna go find dad. Yo, well, good luck with that. Oh. Have you ever seen a watch this expensive before in your life? Well, Probably family, not. I'm finally back. Oh my gosh, dad. Jim, thank goodness you're okay. I'm okay, thank goodness you're okay. What happened to you? Kidnapping, extorting me for money, you know, the usual. Francis, sweetheart, I'm glad you've returned. I am too, Meredith. Can you believe they made me drink tap water? Ugh. Ugh, that's disgusting. I'm gonna go get you some premium mineral water. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Thank you, honey. Do you know what I've been thinking? This has been happening to us more frequently than I would like. More frequently? Maybe I should go ask Brad some questions. Gotta find out what's going on. Hey, Brad. I don't talk to poor people, so no. Listen, Brad, it's serious. It's about dad. You just stay out of these things, loser. Brad, as long as I'm here, he's my dad too. We gotta find out why he keeps getting kidnapped. What you need to do is stay out of the way if you know it's best for you. I'm not backing out now. I'm gonna find out what's happening soon enough. Yeah, I'm on my way now. I'll see you later. Do I take the Lambo or the G-Wagon today? Okay, gotta make sure he doesn't see me. Brad always seems to leave at a strange time during the day. I never know where he's going. But now I'm going to find out. All right, now where is he going? Oh, man. This doesn't look like a good part of town. Is he going down an alleyway? Oh, who is that guy? So is this all of it? Yeah, idiot. I know how to count. Here, this is yours. Thank you. That was an easy kidnapping. Yeah, I told you it was going to be. And thanks for doing it. Look, I'll call you in a month and we'll do it again, okay? Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Brad set up the ransom. Oh, we gotta call Tony. Hey, Tony? Hey, Jim. Is, is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. I was right about Brad. He did have something to do with the kidnapping. I'll meet up with you later, Tony. I gotta go. I know. I heard Oh, I gotta get out of here. I cannot let him catch me. Oh, okay. Well, I ran for a couple miles. I think I'm finally safe. First things first, I 
gotta call dad and tell him what Brad's been up to. Ah! I knew I heard you, idiot. Well, what is your problem? I saw you following me, and I heard your stupid voice. I told you to stay out of the way. Oh, man, I knew there was something up with you. Why did you send him someone to kidnap dad? I got my dad kidnapped, okay? Not yours. You shouldn't care. It doesn't matter to you. Can you just tell me why you did all this? My dad was only giving me a million dollars of allowance a month. I needed more money for my secret mansion. You did all this just because you didn't get more money? What is wrong with you? Your parents care about you and do everything for you. Listen, it doesn't matter what you say, okay? No one's gonna believe a single word that comes out of your stupid poor mouth. You don't have any proof. Yeah, well, I have my phone. I can still call dad right no, now. No, you can't. Huh? Oh no, you dropped your phone. Such an idiot. What do you want from me, Brad? I want you to leave and never come back. I'm not going anywhere. This is my family now, Brad, whether you like it or not. No, it's not, Jim. And the sooner you realize that, the better. You can either leave on your own, or I'll pay someone to fly you to the mountains and drop you there in the middle of nowhere. Fine, you know what? I will leave. I think I'm better off on my own anyway. I never want to see you again. Uh, Jim, are you sure this is a good idea? Yes, trust me, Tony. Just follow my lead and be ready to call the cops. Uh, all right. I got your back. Thanks, Tony. I really mean it. Hey, Brad. Horsey, what are you doing here? I came here to tell you something, Brad. How stupid and pathetic you are, I already know. No, how great your family is. You have an amazing mom and dad who love you and are ready to support you at a moment's notice. You have the world on your fingertips and you don't even care. Yeah, you're right. I don't care. And now I'm part of that family. And I'm not going to let you ruin it for oh me. Oh my gosh. So you're not leaving after all, are you? Nope. I'm never leaving. Oh, let me tell you one more time then. This is my family, not yours. I'm going to kidnap my dad as many times as I want. And I'm going to have more money for this awesome mansion. And I'm going to throw a party here. And it's going to be awesome. And you're not allowed. That's where you're wrong, Brad. I am never wrong, Jim. Oh, no. No, get back here. Leave me alone. There's nowhere you can go. I freeze. You're under arrest. Officer, here's the tape. It's got all the proof you need on there. Thanks, Jim. Your brother's a bad egg. But I don't even like eggs. No! No one can know that I'm secretly a billionaire. Not even my own family. Tom? You're a billionaire? Jerry, you're not supposed to be here. Tom, listen, you are my brother, all right? How can you hide this from me? I don't want this money to change anything. Money can change families. Yeah, well, it's about to change this one. Haha, <laughs> look it, I got some money! Jerry, get back here! I want this, and I don't want that. I want that watch. It's not your money to spend, man. It's mine. Dude, you're my brother. What's yours is mine, right? Not like this, Jerry. Hey, well, did I overhear your guys' conversation? It sounds like you guys are rich. Cha yeah, man. He's a billionaire. No, I'm not. Stop telling people that. Aw, oh, man. Jerry, come on. Mom needs help at the grocery store right now. I'll explain to you how I'm a billionaire. Everything's okay. What took you guys so long? Oh yeah, sorry. I was just spending a lot of Tom's money at the mall. Wait, what? Tom's money? Yeah, Mom. Tom's like a I was just buying Jerry an early birthday present. Oh, how thoughtful of you. I'm glad you guys are here. I need a couple more items. Jerry, what are you doing, man? Dude, do you know how poor we are? And I just found out that my brother's a billionaire. Fine. You want to know how I became a billionaire? Yeah, I want to know right now. Yeah, a few months ago, I was on a trip and ended up winning one of Mr. Beast's challenge videos. Unfortunately, there was a problem with the camera and the video never got released. And then I invested some of the money and now I'm a billionaire. Dude, that's insane. You are on a Mr. Beast video? I don't want anyone to know, okay? I don't want my life to change. My life's not all about money. I just want to be happy. Fine. I won't say anything. Hey guys, I'm ready. Let's go check out. Hey, uh, you're short on money, lady. No, 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 no. That can't be. We're just a few dollars short. Can't you make an exception? If I have to make an exception for you, then I have to make an exception for everyone. And then all this stuff is free, and then I'm out of a job, and I'm broke. Is that what you want, lady? Hey, man, don't talk to my mom like that, all right? Don't worry. I've got this, mom. It's okay. Oh? Where did you get that money, Tom? Uh, I got a second job so that I could help out with everything, you know? Thank you, Tom. You've been so thoughtful recently. Yeah, of course, Mom. Anything I can do to help out the family. Oh man. Who would have known college is that hard? Cha, oh, seriously. Hey, man, I know we're running tight on money, especially with college tuition. So, like, now that I have your secret with me, is there any way I can get some extra money for it? Yeah, man, I'll pay your tuition. You gotta promise to stop talking about this. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll stop talking yeah. about it. What's up with you two poor losers? You guys shouldn't even be allowed on campus. You guys smell terrible. Hey, man, can you just leave us alone for once? 
Like, we're way too old for you to be bullying us. <laughs> yeah, right, man. You're never too old to be bullied by me. I won't leave you alone until they kick you guys off of campus. You're pathetic. Hey, we're not pathetic, buddy, all right? We're richer than you'll ever be. Jerry, shut up. <laughs> yeah, all right. In your dreams, losers. Even the best you're gonna do after this is nothing. Oh, I gotta go to my yachting practice now, so later, losers. Yachting practice? Oh, Tom, are you serious? How, how can you not tell him that you're a billionaire? He was just making fun of us. First of all, who cares what that guy thinks? He's a jerk, man. And I don't want anyone knowing, okay? It's no one's business. But if more people knew, then no one would make fun of us like that. They couldn't. We're, we're literally rich. It doesn't matter if people think that we're rich or not. What matters is that we try to be good people and we do the best that we can to help others. You just don't understand, Tom, all right? You have all this money. You're not using it right. Come on, let's go home. Man, where the heck is Jerry? He never leaves before me in the morning. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's right, people. Look around, look around. <laughs> Should have brought that money straight to the I'm bank. Poor now. Huh? Look Jerry, how I did got. you afford all this stuff? Stuff looks super expensive. Cha, it's mine, dude. Whatever. I'm just so rich. It doesn't even matter. You're lying. It isn't your money. Cha, it is. Dude, just mind your own business, all right? I'm not going to mind my own business, dude. You're literally stealing from me. You're just jealous of me, all right? Just back off before everyone here finds out your little secret. You're not fooling anyone, Jerry. You just look dumb. Well, why are you flashing all this money around anyway? You don't even have it. Cha, well, according to everyone around here, I'm the rich one and you're the poor one. How could you talk to me like that in front of all these people, man? Whatever, man. Just leave. Wait a minute. So Jerry really did that to you? Yeah, Spike. I, I couldn't believe it either. That was such a messed up thing for a brother to do. Well, why is he so upset with you to begin with? I mean, like, he just suddenly found a lot of money, right? I'm gonna tell you this because you're my best friend and we've been friends since we were little kids. But you gotta promise me you don't say anything, okay? This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm secretly a billionaire. A billionaire? So sorry, sorry, a billionaire? Oh, man, I knew this. I shouldn't have told you. You're gonna start asking me for money, just like Jerry. You really think I would do that? Uh, dude, I'm, I'm your best friend. I don't care about your money. That's what I was hoping my brother would say too, but that's not what's going on, man. It's going straight to his head. It's, it's a whole mess. Why don't we go grab some food and I'll explain it to you, but thanks for being such a good friend to me. I can't believe it, man. He willingly told his best friend, but not his own brother. Wow. Man, that was such a good dinner. Cha, I bet it was after you willingly told Spike about your situation. What? How did you know that? Did Spike tell uh, you? No. I Fine, I overheard your guys' stupid conversation, all you're right? You're threatening to tell my secrets, and so now you're spying on me, too? I don't care, man, all right? You lied to me for months about this, and you were just so eager to tell your best friend about all of it right away. He's obviously somebody that I could trust with that type of information. This money's gone to your head, and it's not even yours. You're doing exactly what I thought was going to happen. You're treating me different just because I have money. Yeah, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the yelling? Nothing. Nothing's going on. Yeah, something is going on. Don't even think about it, Sherry. Yeah, whatever. I'm done with this conversation. What's going on, Tom? Is everything all right? Oh, no. Me and Jerry are just fighting, Mom. It's okay. We'll, we'll get over it. Don't worry. Yo, Jerry, look, it's your pathetic broke loser brother, Tom. Ha ha ha. dude, what an idiot. <laughs> right? Yeah, he should learn a thing or two from you, man, about how to be rich, you know? What are you doing in that car, man? It's mine. Do you like it? I bought it with my own money now. Now check this out. Dude, Jerry, be ah, careful. Dude, what are you I'm doing? going so fast. Ah. Yo, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I'll just buy another Lambo or something. <laughs> Cha, man. I mean, I could just go buy three more of these right now. No problem. Cha, me too. Make it fun. Jerry, can I talk to you in private? It without this guy around what do you want dude it's one thing to steal from me but you're not gonna treat me like garbage in front of all these people too i can treat you how i want all right these people are my friends stop acting this way man nobody cared about you a week ago they always treated you bad just like me why would you want to even be friends with somebody that would be like that did all this money make you forget who you are all this money helped me realize who i really am okay yeah you know what you become a monster hey, what ah, what is wrong with you dude oh man i can't believe you you're supposed to be my brother Oh, great. You're here. What are you going to do? Lecture me again? Yeah, we're going to talk right now. Like about what, all right? You have all this money, all of it, just at the palm of your hands, and you're just doing what? Nothing with because it. Because you have money doesn't mean that you should spend it. You don't remember how hard it is to earn because you've never had to. I'm the only one that's ever had a job. Like, so what? You're just going to throw that in my face? So what, man? Look, man. Family's the most important thing in the world. Cha, well then just give me all the money then, all right? Doing the opposite. You're gonna give me all that stuff back. Cha, wait, what? No way, man. This is mine. Hey, well, it's not. And if you don't give me all the stuff back, then I'm gonna call the cops and you're gonna get arrested for stealing. Wait, what? So much for family. Take all of it then. 
Take every single cent. I told you you could have money for your tuition and things that mattered, but you abused it. So you're not getting anything from me ever again. Oh, I'm going to get that money back. If it's the last thing that I do, I'm going to handle this myself. You know, Tom, that was really brave of you what you did with your brother the other day. I just hope he learns from it, dude. Wait, what is that? Jerry over there? What are all those people? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, that's right. I called everyone over here right now to tell you all one important thing. Oh, no, don't do it, Jerry. My brother, Tom, has been a billionaire and has been hoarding all the money for himself. I knew it. No one believed me. Jerry, stop this right now. Oh, there he is right now. Why don't you ask him for some money? I'm sure he has plenty to share. Give me some money, baby! I want everything! Give us your money, loser! Oh, man, this isn't good. I gotta get out of here, Spike. Man, I can't believe it. Why would Jerry do something like this to me? Hey, man, uh, you remember me, don't you? <laughs> well, I've heard you're a billionaire, and, and Dude, uh, please, just leave me alone. Get back here! I want a new land. Hey, Tom, what's up, bro? You know that I was just so messing with you when I called you poor and stuff, right? Not now, Butch, please. Yeah, man, you want to hang out? Maybe rip a private jet over to New York, eat some sushi. No, I don't want to do any of this. I, I just need to go talk to my yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Cool, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Mom! Oh, Mom. So it's true, then. Yeah, Mom. I, I didn't want you to find out this way. I was just waiting for the right time. You had months to tell me, and you didn't. Why didn't you say anything? Because I like our life the way that it is. I was covering all the bills. But you lied to me. We're supposed to be family. We're not supposed to hide things from each other. Jerry's going wild right now. And it's all because he found out my Maybe secret. Jerry has a point too, okay? Do you see this house that we're in? Do you really think it's no, ideal? No, it's not, Mom. And I was already buying you a house. It was going to be a surprise. No, I don't want to hear this. All of this money could have solved our problems. Mom, money doesn't solve problems. Just because you have money doesn't mean that everything in your life just goes away. I've heard enough. We are using this money to help our family, and that's final. Oh, man, what a mess this money's created. I know that we were going to buy a house, but we don't need to live in something like this. You don't know what you're talking about, Tom, all right? This is exactly what we should be living in. We should show it off to the world. Mom, I'm guessing you let Jerry pick out the house. I wanted him to feel included. He seemed pretty down, so... Yeah, we're rich! I'm going to go ride my Ferrari! I just can't believe this, Mom. You let him back into this house after everything he did to me. He exposed my secrets, and now I'm supposed to just let him live in a mansion? I don't know what to tell you, Tom. I get why you're frustrated with him, but I understand why he's frustrated with you as well. I know, Mom, but this, this is crazy. Crazy. You can't hate your brother because of all of this. Yeah, well, you know what? I just don't think I can live with him, Mom. You guys enjoy your new place, but I don't want any part of this. Wait, Tom? Where are you going? I'm going to a regular house. I don't feel comfortable in this place. It doesn't feel like a home. And it definitely doesn't with Jerry in there being a jerk. Yeah, this'll do. This feels a lot better than that mansion. Yeah, 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 it's all yours. Uh, by the way, can I have a uh, 50K? Get out of here. All right, whatever, man. Jeez, I tried. Look at my family now. We're all disconnected and separated. Money was supposed to help us, not rip us apart. Hey, uh, Tom, how have you been doing, man? Please don't ask me for any money. No, I'm not going to. Calm down. Sorry, dude. I've just been going through a lot today with my family. It seems like everyone in the city knows exactly who you are now. Yeah, and everyone's treating me different. It's terrible. Yeah, you can look at it that way, but maybe it's not a horrible thing that you have all this money. I mean, maybe you can use it for good. Yeah, dude, you're right. That's a great idea. And we're going to start right now. I, I can't believe this. You did this for me and my family? Yeah, of course. It's the least I can do with my money to help out. This is the kindest, most amazing thing ever. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't need all this extra money. Tom, what are you doing here? I just bought this family this home. Wait, wait, let me get this right. You bought these homeless people a home? Does he know who I am? Do either of you know how rich Dude, I am? Dude, you're nobody. Don't you get that? You have nothing. You have my money that I give you. Stop acting like you're better than people because you're not. Look at little old Tom, thinking that he has a point to make about everything. Well, listen here, all right? It's nice to know that you can buy this family things, but you can't buy your own family things. Yeah, because this family deserves it. They work really hard and can't catch a break. You're just a spoiled jerk who thinks he deserves everything. I wish that you'd go back to how you were. Whatever, man. That's not even why I'm here right now. What do you want? Look, I need more money, all right? So give me some. No, I'm not doing that anymore. You're on your own. Wait, what? You can't be serious. No, I'm done. I'm not providing anything to you. Go get a real job.
No, you don't need to apologize. I bet it's tough being recognized everywhere. I know. Maybe at some point I'll just buy us an arcade so that we can feel like the good old days, you know? You know, that's not a bad idea. You're such a good friend. I wish my family treated me the same way that you do. Yeah? How has everything been going with that? Well, since I cut Jerry off, he's been even worse than he was before. That's crazy. He needs to be more thankful for everything that you've done for them. Yeah, neither of them are. My mom's on his side now, too, because I lied about the money. <sighs> well... I don't know, maybe you should go talk to your mom. It seems like she'll be a lot more reasonable than your brother. Yeah, maybe. I'm just afraid she's gonna ask me for more stuff. You can't keep going on through your life without a family. It's important that you talk things out. You're right. I've gotta make things better. This job is so stupid. I can't believe people actually do this for a living. Work? <laughs> Pathetic. I've only been working for a week and I haven't even made a million dollars yet. I can't believe Tom made me do this. Uh, excuse me, can I get some service over here? Or you're just gonna stand around doing nothing. Who do you think you're talking to, buddy? Uh, I'm talking to you. You've been sitting there yelling to yourself like a weirdo. I am not a weirdo, all right? Do you know how rich I am? Oh, yeah, man. You look real rich to me. You should be the one that's serving me, you poor loser. How dare you, sir? I make a generous $100,000 a year. Yeah, well, how dare you, all right? I use $100,000 to wipe my- Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? This worker is having some sort of breakdown. I don't understand. My goodness, it's the third breakdown this hour. I'm so sorry about that, sir. You should ban this guy from here. He shouldn't eat here anymore. If I want to eat unhealthy food and clog my arteries, I can do it. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get that food for you right away. Jerry, get lost. You're fired. Wait, you're, what? I'm, whatever. I don't need this job. I don't need any of it. Hey, where have you been? I've been calling you multiple times I've this week. I've just been week. dealing with Jerry and... How much he's changed since I became a billionaire. Listen, he's been acting a lot different lately, and maybe it's time that you talk to him. He's changed too much. He just expects everything. He doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to do anything. He just wants me to give him stuff for free. Well, you are his brother, and you have all of that money. If he actually appreciated it, Mom, I'd give him half. But he doesn't, and I know that he'll be broke in a month if I give him but that much money. But you lied to both of but us. Mom, can't you see why? I mean, do you know how bad it feels? You guys abandoned me. All you did is look at me as a bank. You're right, Tom. I'm sorry. I let the money go to my head, and I don't mean to make you sad like this. I don't either, Mom. I just want my family back. We were so close before. Everything's torn apart. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I think this conversation was the first step in the right direction. Thanks, Mom. You want to go get some dinner? Yes, that sounds lovely, and I'll pay for it this time. Yeah, dude, you deserve some of that money. Glad someone finally sees it that way. And once I have all that money, oh, I'm gonna do so many great things with it. Yeah, man, I'm just so glad that my dad's not like your stupid brother. Give me a million right now, dad. And he'll just do it. Shock, because your dad's not like a stupid jerk like Tom, dude. I can't believe that he made you get a job. Ugh, I just got shivers sent down my spine. He only bought you one mansion? Did he even get you a helicopter? No, he didn't now that you say that. And ever since I've stopped walking on Gucci, nothing's felt the same. Wait, dude, I got an idea. We'll spill the beans, man. Yo, why don't you just steal the money, man? We can race our yachts, dude. It would be so cool. You know what? Tom wouldn't even notice it if it were gone. That sounds like a great idea. Man, I can't believe how many lives I've been able to change with all this money. It's been amazing being able to make lives better for people. And I'm so happy that my mom's finally coming around to my side of the story. Things are starting to look pretty good. Yo, stuff the bag, Butch. Hurry up. Yo, what are you guys doing? Uh, Tom, something that we should have done a long time ago. Jerry, come on, man. You're better than this. This is what you get, brother. This is a long time coming. I can't believe this, Jerry. You choose this money over me? You're the one that decided to leave to begin with. Yeah, because of you. Because of the way you've been acting. Because I knew I couldn't trust you around my money, and you're just proving that time and time again. You've been getting everything you want for free. Yeah, well, I try to listen to your advice. I try to get a real job. It's just not my lifestyle. Jerry, who even are you, man? I can't believe that you'd ever stoop this low. I don't care, Tom. I know we're brothers, but consider our relationship over. You're not getting away with this, man. The cops are already on their way. I already texted Good them. luck trying to prove anything. What's that noise? Uh, Tom? All right, man. Give me back the money or this guy's gonna arrest you. What are you even talking about? Stole my money, dude. I want it back. Officer, I have no idea what this man is talking about. Actually, yeah, you never really did show me any proof that he stole it from you. But I own this house. I I'm sure the money's in All here. All right, I'm the owner of this place, and you're not allowed. He's not the owner of this place. I own Yeah, well, from the looks of things, this guy looks like he's rich and stuff. He does look like he owns this mansion. If you want to be able to arrest him, you got to have evidence for the crime, all right? Jeez, another stupid call. 
Look at that, dude. I can't believe you, Jerry. You're just making things worse and worse, huh? How could you rob your own family, dude? Worked out pretty well for me. I got a yacht appointment at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. But you are the worst person that's ever existed. All I think right now is money, and you don't have any. Whatever, dude. You're not getting away with this. They wouldn't even arrest him? You can't be serious. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if I'm getting that money back. What are you gonna do now? I mean, you don't even have any money. Dude, honestly, it's fine. Money destroyed my family. I don't really care about it. I'm just gonna get a normal job and live a regular life. And you're just gonna let all of this go? He robbed you. Dude, no, I'm not gonna let that part go. But I don't wanna start chasing money and fighting over it. It doesn't make sense. All right, well, if you ever need anything, you know you can ask. I appreciate it, man, but I have no problem working a regular job. I did it before and I'll do it again. Hey, man, uh, I saw that you were hiring. Wait, aren't you that billionaire guy? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's who I was. What do you mean by was? I don't have any money anymore. Yeah, like we're gonna hire a guy like you. A guy that loses a billion dollars within a week. What a loser! Hey, look, it's not my fault. I was robbed, okay? Yeah, right, buddy. That's just probably an excuse you're using to cover up the way you really lost it. How are you gonna manage my store, huh? All right, well, I'm sorry that's how you feel. I appreciate the opportunity, I guess. Shut up! Get out of here! Gosh, I hate you so much! Hey, Jerry, it's been a while since I've seen you. I've been busy with big picture things, you know, buying yachts, buying Lambos, investing in another Lambo. Look, it's been a while since we've bonded together, and I think it would be good if we spent some quality time together. Why would I want to hang out with you, all right? I got like a billion friends that are on my speed dial right Jerry, now. Jerry, why are you talking to me like this? I am your no, mother. No, what you are right now is a waste of my time, all right? So just back off. Jeez, you already got the mansion. Why do you want to talk to me? Because I love you, and you're my son. Jeez, you're acting like a poor loser right now, just like Tom. Tom is the reason why we have all of this. Stop treating everyone like this. Now you're going to take Tom's side. You're not even worth my time I anymore. am your mother. I am always going to be worth your time, and so is Tom. You want to be just like Tom? Then be like him. You're out of the mansion. What? Yeah, that's right. I have full possession over the money. I'm rich and I can do whatever I want. Ugh, man, I'm late to my yacht appointment. Mom, what are you doing here? Come in. Tom, it's just awful. Slow I don't... down. Are you okay? No, Jerry just kicked me out of the mansion and now I'm living on the street. Oh my gosh, how could he do something like this? I, I don't know. I just wanted to spend time with him and I want to have a relationship with him, but he honestly could care less. I know, Mom. He's a different person. The money's destroying him. It's like a disease. I'm just heartbroken. We're supposed to be a family. I'm so angry, Mom. I'm sorry I ever brought this money into our house. It's not your fault, Tom. I know we were angry because you were lying to us, but this is outrageous. This is all Jerry. I just wish that Jerry was different. I'm not going to let him keep doing this, Mom. Something's got to stop with him. I'm getting that money back tonight. Man, Jerry's gonna pay for the way he treated mom. Whoa, 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 Tom, Tom, wait up. What's up, man? You told me what you planned on doing? Are you really gonna steal that money back? It's not his in the first place, it's mine. And after what he did to my mom, he deserves it. If you think that this is the right thing to do, then all right, Tom, just do what you think's best. But I'm not gonna be a part of it. I think it's wrong. There they are. Chaw, dude, that yacht was so much fun. Yeah, man, it's so sick. I love that you got all this money now, because, like, now we can really be friends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, now that my mom's out of the picture, this mansion is all to myself. I can't believe it. He thinks this is funny? I'm not doing this. There it is. There's all my money. All of it. He's never going to see this money again. Man, I can't wait to get these tests. Where is it, Tom? I don't know what you're talking about. Where's what? Don't you lie to me. I know that you took it. Oh, you mean the money that's mine? I took it back. Yeah, maybe. You had no right. I had every right. You robbed me, dude. And then you kicked our mother out of a mansion that I bought that you live no, in. No, it's my money, so give it back, all right? That is my mansion. No, dude, it's mine, okay? And you're lucky you even got anything from me. You and mommy, you guys are just poor losers. You'll never understand me, and you'll never understand what to do with money. That's exactly why I don't ever want to see you again, man. The money changed you. Chow, well, this all began because of you lying. I'm not going to apologize, not to you, not to anyone. Well, you do you then, but you're not getting anything from me ever again, and I don't want to see your face until you come back and apologize. That dude stole all the money back? Yeah, he did, man. I have nothing. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You don't have anything anymore? You're a broke loser? Again? No, I'm still the same guy. I just need to get my money no, back. No, 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 dude. You're not the same guy. You're broke now. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? That means I can't hang out with you, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, you can't do that. Uh, I, I thought 
you were my friend. Yeah, I thought you were my friend too, and then you became broke like an idiot. Maybe I'll go steal the money back from Tom. My dad would be so proud if I was even richer than him. He'd be like, where'd you get the money? And I'd be like, a job, man. And he'd be like, whoa. No, no, you can't do that. Dude, I can do whatever I want. I'm rich. Wait, Tom, why are we back at the mansion? I don't think we should live in this place anymore, Mom. I think we should let other families share this place so that they can get up back on their feet. Wow, Tom, that's a really good idea. We need to use this money to make families' lives better, Mom, because it tore our family apart. And if we can't have our whole family together, maybe we can make a difference making other people's families whole. Well, I could never be more proud of you. I'm so happy that the money didn't get to your head. I know I already said it, but I'm really sorry about everything. It's okay, Mom. I love you, and I understand it was a weird time for everybody. But look, I'm going to donate a ton of money, and we should start another fundraiser and see if other billionaires will donate money. And then once we do that, we can help so many more people. Maybe we can hold the fundraiser at the mansion. If we do that, then we can probably make a lot of money for all these other families. Let's do it tonight. I'm sure I can get everybody around. Hey, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited that you're all here. We were really poor, and sometimes we didn't have money to eat, but we always stuck together, and that was the important thing. And now that things have changed and we've made some money, I want to make sure that we're giving back to other people so that they can have the same opportunities that we have. So I'm asking everyone here tonight to help support this fundraiser. Oh, inspirational! Yeah, Tom! He used to be the landlord of that guy. Security, we got to get rid of this guy. Wait, wait, no, no, Tom, Tom. Listen, man, I I'm sorry, all right? I've messed up. Stop lying, Jerry. We're trying to help people. It's not about you anymore. Don't you get I, that? I promise. I'm not making it about me, all right? I, I, I wish I could just take it all back, all right? I've had enough, dude. You've said this a million times. I know that you're lying. You need to leave or the security's gonna escort you out of here. You don't understand, all right? Uh, Butch, he, he's planning... The alarm's in my house. They're going off. Someone's broken in. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Oh, what's it look like, man? I'm just grabbing some money. Dude, that's my money. You can't just come in here and take it. Uh, like, yeah, I can, dude, okay? You can't stop me. The police are probably on their way. The alarm's been going off for a little while now. Yeah, whatever, man. I'll be fine. Just let me take the rest of your money. No, we're not going to. The police are here. What? What are you doing here, man? You think you're just gonna steal like I was gonna do? Doing this for my brother, all right? That money's rightfully his. Wait, really? Look, I I'm sorry, all right? I don't know how many more times I have to say it. I made a bunch of mistakes, and I hope this makes up for it. Police officer, arrest that man. What? No! No! Please! Leave me alone! No! We already discussed this. We're too poor to raise a child. We can barely take care of ourselves. One day, he'll understand. Goodbye, Derek. Bye, Derek. I'll miss you. What on earth? Is somebody out here? What is this baby doing here? Hello? Hello? I can't just leave him out here. Guess I'll have to raise him as my own. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. Hey, look who it is! Poor farm boy Derek! What are you even doing here? You're good for nothing! You're a loser! I'm not a loser! You'll see, I'm gonna become a billionaire one day with my farm, and you're gonna regret what you're saying to me! <laughs> oh, you got jokes, farm boy! <laughs> Don't you want some hay or something? Y'all, no one cares about farms. Well, that's stupid because farms are needed for people to have food. What? Whatever, you suck. Ow. Yeah, you're nothing and you're gonna be nothing forever. You guys are wrong. Oh, come on, Tim. Let's get out of here. This place is starting to smell like a farm. I think it's him. Derek, Derek, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you just take me home, please? Of course, kid. Come on. <sighs> Tom, can I ask you something? Well, sure thing, kid. What's on your mind? Why did my parents leave me here? Do you know anything about them? How come they didn't want me? <sighs> I'm sorry, Derek. I tried to find them, but I just couldn't. I have no idea why they left you here. It's like they just completely abandoned me and disappear off the face of the planet. It's not fair. Hey, don't say that. I've always been here for you, and I love having you around to help me with the farm. You're like a son to me. Thanks, Tom, but sometimes it feels like everyone in town makes fun of me for living on a farm. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. That's because there isn't. Listen, kid. They may not understand the importance of what we do here, but we know how important it is, and that's what matters. We need to keep this farm in business for both of us. Mr. Blackwell is taking over more and more of the farmland. Tom, I've been looking for you. What is it, Mr. Blackwell? You and I need to talk. Please, come inside. I just don't understand what's on your mind. 
every other farmer has sold their land to me, Tom. You're the last one holding out. Because I can't sell it to you, Mr. Blackwell. My parents grew up here with me. This land means too much to me. This land is prime real estate. And if you don't sell it to me, things are going to get really bad for you, Tom. And I wouldn't want to see that. This is my final offer. Whoa, Mr. Blackwell. That, that's a lot of money. Of course it's a lot of money. Well, I'm gonna need time to think about it. It's now or never, Tom. And I don't like waiting. You'll regret not selling to me. You know, Mr. Blackwell, I think it's time you leave. I don't really think you're welcome here anymore. Derek, please, we should probably consider this. Tom, we can make this farm work. If it's that important to you, I'll do anything it takes. We'll become the richest people around here, even richer than Mr. Blackwell. And there's nothing he can do about it. Ha 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 ha. You two are a joke, you know that? Really sad and pathetic. This isn't the last you've heard of me. I'll be around, gentlemen. This new seed we're developing will produce enough food to feed the entire world, Dale. I'm so close to perfecting it. Well, how does it work? It's a little complicated. We'll be able to end world hunger. This is a huge milestone. What are you two doofus farm boys working on? Shut up, Tim. Whoa, think you're tough now, Derek, huh? You're not tough. Come on, guys, just leave us alone. Shut up. It's time to teach you farm boys a lesson. Ow. Hey, that's enough. This looks super important. Oh, what? No! Oh, I'll just all cry. <laughs> what a baby. Hold on, I'll go get my phone so we can take a selfie of him crying. Oh, no, no. What am I going to do now? I needed this. Oh, man, Derek. What are you going to do now? I feel like all my hard work just went to waste. Ugh. I'll have to save some money to restart my work. Buy some new equipment. What is this? This corn isn't what I want. How am I supposed to pop this? Um, sir, it's the kernels that pop and make popcorn. So all you have to do- Whatever, is vegetables are stupid anyway. Vegetables aren't stupid. This stand stinks. It's in the worst location ever. There's no customers and I haven't sold a single thing in days. It's because it's the only place we're allowed to sell food. Well, that's not fair. We need to go somewhere else. Dick, we don't have a choice, son. Just keep at it. We gotta do what we gotta do and everything will turn out all right. Everything's not turning out all right. It's all because Mr. Blackwell won't let us sell our food anywhere else. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna do something risky. Whoa, I've never seen such amazing corn like what you're selling, dude. Wow, thanks. And like I said, it's all organic and natural. It comes from hard work and dedication to the crops. And it's local. I don't know what that is, but if you keep bringing this, I'm going to keep buying it. Here's a hundred bucks. Whoa, hundred bucks? This is too much. It's just corn. Dude, just keep it. I want more of your crops. Wow, this is awesome. You know, if Tom and I started selling our food here... We could make so much more money. And what do you think you're doing here? Mr. Blackwell, I told you and Tom, you aren't supposed to be here. You don't run all the farmer's markets, Mr. Blackwell. I'm allowed to sell here. Ho, 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 ho. No, I don't run all the farmer's markets. I do own all of them. Now leave, you little punk. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this, but I have to. Ho, 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 oh, what are you doing? This will teach you a lesson. You can't just do this. I just did. Now pick up this mess. Get it out of my farmer's market. Hey, what's going on, Derek? You look upset. It's Mr. Blackwell again. He destroyed my crop stand yesterday. He what? That's totally not fair. He can't keep getting away with this stuff. That's just what he does. He has all the money in the world and thinks he can do whatever he wants. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, well, just because you have money, you can't do whatever you want. Gotta stop him from doing this. I know, Dale, and I will. When I have a billion dollars, I'm not gonna treat people the way he does. I'm gonna make a change around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. A billion dollars? That's a huge goal, Derek. I've already started making making money selling food. And once that seed I'm making is perfect, we'll be able to end world hunger and I'll make a ton of money. I'll sell it to everybody in the world. Honestly, that's a great plan, Derek. I believe in you. I'm gonna become a billionaire. I just need a little more time to accomplish it. That's all. But I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Uh-oh, Tom.
Tom does not look happy. What the heck were you thinking going to that farmer's market? Now everyone in town is talking about you. Doesn't matter, Tom. We made money. We made a lot of money. Whoa, yeah, that is a lot, but, but nothing. We can't let Mr. Blackwell control our lives like this. You don't understand what he's capable of, Derek. He threatened me because of your actions. But it's not fair, Tom. We can make so much more money by going to that market. I don't want to hear another word about it. We have to find another way to make ends meet. That doesn't involve the farmer's market. We have a chance to make something of ourselves. Make something of this farm. Don't you want that? Derek, we already have something. We have each other. We don't need Mr. Blackwell's dirty money. I understand, Tom. I just wish we could do more. And we will. We'll find a way. But we can't risk everything for a quick buck. That kid's gonna learn to stop interfering with me. He crossed me. And that's not something anybody wants to do. Cause then I do something like this. <laughs> See if you can sell your stupid vegetables now. Oh, what are y'all gonna do when your land is destroyed? Guess you'll have to sell it to me. <laughs> what is that? Fire trucks? Oh my gosh. What the heck's going on? Everything's on fire! Oh, it was Mr. Blackwell. It had to be! He set our crops on fire, Tom! Oh, I told you, Derek! We can't mess with Mr. Blackwell! Look at our farm! It's gone. It's completely gone. You stay here. I gotta talk to the fireman. See if we can save any of this. This isn't fair. I'm gonna make everything okay for my family. I'm going to change my life. And this, this is just the beginning. It only took five years and a whole lot of work, but I think this land is finally ready to be planted again. Do you really think Mr. Blackwell set fire to the crops? Oh, I'm certain of it, but we couldn't prove anything. But I know it was him. It had to have been. Well, let's just forget about him. Let's focus on these seeds. You really think they're going to win first place? <laughs> oh, Dale, my friend, I'm sure of it. I've been working on these for years. This time, I think I've really nailed the formula. Well, let's go plant them then. We don't have much time. All right, we got to be careful not to put them in too far. Following your lead. I think this is perfect. You know what this means, don't you? What? These seeds we just planted, they're going to be worth so much money. The prize at the county fair is $1,000. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of money for just some seeds. These aren't just any seeds, Dale. These are going to change the world. I'm going to make everything right by my family. And I'm not going to let someone like Mr. Blackwell control us anymore. That's what I like to hear. You've come a long way, Derek. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, dude. Now, come on. We've got a couple more to plant, and then we'll be done for the day. Thank you for taking the time to see the produce I've grown. I've engineered them not only to taste better, but also to grow faster than regular crops. Wow, well, these are remarkable, son. You'll have to show these to the head of the county fair. I believe they're top quality. Hey, Farmer Bull, come on over here. What's going on over here? Take a look at this. Ooh, these are the best crops I've ever seen. Give me a little taste of this right now, if you don't mind. Man, this corn is good. It has the juice. I can't imagine anything more beautiful than this. That's what I told you, Farmer Bo. Well, I think it's safe to say I found first place in the county fair. It's this man right here. Wait, really? Of course. Mm, as long as you keep bringing these vegetables, man, these are good. Here, you've earned that $1,000 prize money, kid. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, sir. I'm honored. You should be. And you should take these to the National Fair. It's happening in a few months. That prize money is worth like three times what I just gave you. Wow, thank you, sir. I'll definitely look into it. You've got a bright future ahead of you, kid. Whatever you do, don't you stop. I still can't believe I won first place. This is so fun. Can't wait to tell Tom the look on his face is gonna be priceless. Well, congratulations, Derek. Thanks, Mr. Blackwell. Congratulations on breaking my streak. I've won 10 fairs in a row. This was gonna be number 11. Well, I'm not sorry for winning the fair. I need the money for the farm. I figured you would have gotten the message five years ago, but I guess it's tough sinking into that thick head of yours. Clearly, you're more stubborn than I thought. I knew you were the one that set fire to our crops. Oh, 
But you have no proof. That's so sad. Stay away from the National Fair. I will not let you win another one. What I made is better than anything you and your overproduced farms can make. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Blackwell. Brr, you should be. Tom, I'm home. Hey, kid, welcome back. Well, how'd it go? Well, Tom, we won. We won first prize at the county fair. First prize? That's great. I knew you could do it, Derek. And I won $1,000. $1,000? That's great news. What are you planning to do with the money? Well, I was thinking of using it to attend the National Fair. It's happening next month. That's a great idea, Derek. We could use some more income coming in. How about planting more of the seeds to sell? Well, I'd love to. It, it's just... It's just what? Well, to be honest, I'm a little worried someone might steal them. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past Mr. Blackwell to be the one to do it. Hmm. Well, we'll take precautions, kid. We really need the money. We can't keep this farm if we don't have any money. No, you're right. Okay, we can start planning them tomorrow. First thing in the morning. That's right, everybody. The county fair vegetables are here to be sold to all of you. Come check them out. Come on. Oh, these are amazing. I've never tasted anything like this before. It's like I want to slap myself to wake up. That's how good they are. I need more. I need more vegetables. Can you get me more vegetables, please? Excuse me, sir. Yeah? How can I help you? How did you manage to grow such delicious crops? I mean, these vegetables actually taste good. Vegetables are usually garbage. Well, it's all in the formula. We've engineered these crops not only to taste better, but to grow faster than just regular crops. Oh, okay. I don't care how you made it. I just want more and more and more. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't worry. There's plenty for everybody. Well, seems like word of your crops is starting to spread quickly. Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so excited about vegetables in my life. I can't wait to tell Tom all about this. I know he's going to be so proud of me when he gets back. I'm sure he will be. We've worked so hard to get to this point. We both have. Well, looks like we've completely sold out of our stock. I guess I'm going to have to go plant some more. Good idea. Let's go. Derek, I can't believe how much money we've made since you introduced your new crops. This has been a great benefit to the farm. Well, I'm glad you listened to me and gave me a chance. We needed to try something new. It's great to see the impact it's had on our farm and the impact we've had on the community. You know, kid, I'm so proud of you. I know I'm not your real father, but I love you like my son. And I love you too, Tom. You're the only dad I've ever known. I don't even care to look for my real parents now that I'm older. You've been with me all along. Thanks, Derek. You made me so proud. Now, I think it's time we go celebrate with the money we've earned. Sounds good to me, son. All right. Now, where is it? Must be this over here. These special crops he's created. I'm not going to lose the National Fair to that idiot. No one disrespects me to my face. And this is going to guarantee my win. <laughs> Derek won't even know what hit him. I cannot wait for the National Fair. We're going to make so much money. Oh, great. Here they come. <laughs> and I'll be ready to just wait and see. <laughs> You know, these are really good. Really? You think so? Of course, I don't lie, kid, but I've already had some of them. What do you mean? That man over there, he's selling these exact same crops. What? That's right, everybody. The newest invention from me. What are you doing with my crops? You stole them. How could you have done this? What are you talking about? I've been working on these for a long time. I don't want you taking away this moment from me. You're a liar. You stole them. Those are my vegetables and you know it. Hey, hey, all right. What's going on over here? This man is just verbally assaulting me, Judge. How dare you accuse Mr. Blackwell of stealing your crops? He's a good, honest man, and he's extremely wealthy and well-known. You're a nobody. That's why he wanted to steal my product, pass it off as his own, and be famous. That is not true. Do you have any idea where you are, kid? This is the National Fair. We don't have time for this here. You are banned from the National Fair. Now take these worthless vegetables and leave. <laughs> So long, Derek. Well, Mr. Blackwell, I have no choice but to announce you as the winner of the National Fair yet again. <laughs> That's right.
I'm uh, guessing you didn't win the fair, did you? No, Tom, I didn't. Mr. Blackwell stole our crops and passed them off as his own. What? That's not right. Well, we have all the proof we need back at the farm. Derek, get in the car. It doesn't matter. The fair is over. He's a notable member of the community, so no one is going to believe us. We have to do something. We can't just let him get away with this. I know, Derek. We'll figure something out. We have the evidence. We'll make sure justice is served. You know, we better, because I'm sick of just waiting around and waiting for things to change. Listen, Derek, don't be upset. How can I not be upset when- Wait, Tom, look out! <laughs> Ow. Sir, sir, can you hear me? What, what happened? Tom? Where's Tom? You were in a car accident. We need to get you to the hospital. Tom! Tom, are you okay? Tom! What's wrong with him? Is he okay? Tom! Tom, wake up! Hey, things will be okay, Derek. Tom would want you to stay strong. I know he would, but Ill, it just feels like I've, I've lost everything. <laughs> What am I gonna do now? Derek, is that you? We've been looking for you everywhere. I'm sorry, who are you? We're your parents, Derek. We're so sorry we left you, but we want to get to know you now. You want to know me now? Now that Tom's gone, you come out of nowhere and show up? We're sorry, son. We didn't mean to hurt you. Just want to make things right. Tom was my real father. I don't even know who you are. You two abandoned me when I was just a baby. We know, Derek. We want to be a part of your life again. Maybe we can just talk and get to know each other a little bit. Please, just give us this chance. All right, fine. We can talk, but not here. We knew this life would be better for you, Derek. It was not an easy decision, but we were too poor to take care of you. We used to work for Mr. Blackwell, but he ruined our lives and we're left now with no money. Wow, I had no idea. I guess I can understand why you did it, but I'm happy with the life I have now. That's what we wanted to talk to you about. Now that Tom is dead, we know you'll be given the farm. And what do you want with that? We want to sell the farm and use the money to help us rebuild our lives. Then we can be together. Are you kidding? You want to sell the farm? You two are terrible people. I want nothing to do with you. Derek, please. Just listen to us. No, I'm done listening. I'm not selling that farm. It meant the world to Tom, and it means the world to me. It was nice seeing you, Mom and Dad. I wonder who that could be. Uh, hello? Are you Derek? Yeah, I'm Derek. How can I help you? I'm here to talk to you about Tom's will. Here, read this over. Wow, $100,000? I didn't know Tom had that much money. Well, I was left over after the crops were sold, and Tom wanted you to know he was saving it for when you needed to get new equipment. He was saving this? I had no idea. Wow, thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Yeah, have a good day. Hey, man. What's going on? Tom left me everything he had. Whoa, really? Yeah, that was just his lawyer. He left me the whole farm, along with all the money he had in his savings. He was saving money for me for years, Dale. That's awesome, man. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I love the farm, but I can't take care of everything alone. I don't think you have to. I'll quit my job and help you. What? Really? Dale, I couldn't ask you to quit your job. Of course, man. I believe in you. I know you can make more seeds and support us. Well, thanks, Dale. If you're really willing to help, I could definitely use it. Anything for my best friend. Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get to work. Oh, man, it is so hot today. Uh, who's that? Oh, of course. Mr. Blackwell, you know you're not allowed on my property anymore, right? Derek, my old friend, I have to hand it to you for not quitting. You've done pretty well for yourself. What do you want, Mr. Blackwell? You know, Derek, I've always liked your attitude. You're a fighter. Tom wasn't smart enough to sell me the farm, but I know you are, and I'm willing to offer you a lot of money How for How dare it. you insult Tom? I've dedicated my whole life and all of my money to this farm, and I refuse to give up on it. Huh, well I guess I was wrong. There's a first time for everything. You're just like Tom. Stupid and stubborn. You're never gonna win, and I will own this land one day. Just wait and see, my friend. Your time is running out. I'll show him. Make sure no one ever steals from me ever again. Especially not him. 
So, Derek, you want to patent your crops this time to prevent Mr. Blackwell from stealing from you again. That's a smart move. We should have done that the first time. Yeah, I didn't think he was capable of doing what he did, but now I know better, and I need to protect myself. Yeah, we can't let him steal from us anymore. We need to protect our work. I understand. You know, it might take some time, but I can start working on the patent application right away. That's great to hear. Do you have any idea how long it might take? Yeah, it could take a few months, depending on how smoothly the process goes. In the meantime, we can keep advertising the new crops and building up more interest. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get the word out there so that people know about our crops. I I think that's a good plan, and I'll keep you both updated on the progress. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Guess we have to get back to the farm. Hey, Derek, you know, that patent was the smartest thing we ever did. I know. It allowed us to expand the farm, hire all these people, and fight back against Mr. Blackwell with our new vegetables. We officially have tens of millions of dollars now. Yeah, we've come a long way. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm looking to acquire another farm down the road. I'm about to head over there now. Another farm? That's awesome. Do you need any help? No, it's okay. I'll be able to handle this on my own. I don't know, Derek. Mr. Blackwell's been pressuring me to sell my land to him. I know, he used to do the same thing to me. But don't worry, I'm not gonna kick you off your land. I wanna help you by giving you extra support on your farm. Help me? What kind of support? My team and I will help you run this farm, and in return, we'll share the profits. Everything is upfront and honest. That's the way I do business. Okay, I agree. You're not gonna regret this. Welcome to our new family. And it feels good to help these people like Mr. Blackwell. Oh great, it's tax season again. I'm not paying these taxes. Mr. Blackwell, I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour. Ugh, you again, what is it? Can't you say I'm busy? Uh, no sir, it's about Derek. He keeps winning over more and more farmers. I don't know how long your business can survive if he keeps winning like this. What? That's impossible, how's he doing it? Well, uh, I think I think he's helping the farmers instead of buying their land. Helping the farmers? Pah, that's ridiculous. Even with his new crops, he can't win. Not against me. But sir, he is winning. It's only a matter of time before- I will not allow it. We need to stop him in his tracks. Now, go to Derek's farm and steal some more of those seeds. Where are those crops? I gotta find them or else Mr. Blackwell's gonna be mad at me again. Oh, is that them over there? Mr. Blackwell sent me. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, he did. And I'm guessing he asked you to take more of my crops, right? Yeah, he did. You don't have to work for Mr. Blackwell, you know. My team pays so much better and we don't treat our workers like servants. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm just worried about what Mr. Blackwell will do. I used to feel the same way. Trust me. But don't worry, I'll take care of it. Join my team, and you won't regret it. You mean it? Okay, I'll do it. Welcome aboard. You know, this is the smartest decision you've made in a while. All right, here goes nothing. You! What are you doing here? You and I need to talk. Fuck! What did you want to talk about? Your farmhand was caught trying to steal my crops. What? That's impossible! I, I had nothing to do with that! Mr. Blackwell, you need to stop lying. He confessed everything to me, but that's not why I'm here. I want to make you a deal. A deal, huh? I'm listening. Your business is failing, and you need money. I want to buy you out of your land. I would never sell to you or work with you. You're just a poor, good-for-nothing loser. So you're saying no to the deal? That's a big, fat no for Mr. Blackwell. Well, that's okay. It's a shame. Your time's limited now. My time's limited? What are you talking about? Good luck, Mr. Blackwell. I think you're going to need it. Don't you just walk away from me. Oh, uh, Derek, I'll get back at you. You wait and see. You know, this new social media campaign is actually bringing us a lot of customers. I know. Derek, can you believe it? We just hit the one billion dollar mark. I always dreamed of this moment, but honestly, there were moments I never thought I'd be here. Tom would be so proud of all that we've accomplished. Oh, you know he would be, my friend. You've come a long way since those early days on the farm. And I couldn't have done it without you, Dale. Quitting your job, giving up almost everything to help me with this. Thank you. Well, of course. I told you I'd do anything for you. I'm going to head out now. Congratulations again, Derek. I'll talk to you later. 
Will, you finally did it. You put me out of business, Derek. You ruined everything. Mr. Blackwell, I offered you a chance to work with me years ago, and you refused. Don't blame me for your failures. You're just still a poor farmhand at heart, and you'll never be anything more than that. Well, it seems as though I've made a whole lot of myself. Stay away from me, Mr. Blackwell. I don't have time for this. I'm about to unveil my next product. Next product, huh? You're the worst. Got a new product coming out, Derek. I guess it's time I do some investigating on my own. Now, where did your stupid self put this? What, what on earth is that? Oh, no, no, no! Officer Rufus, arrest this man who's about to steal my product. I wasn't gonna do anything of the sort! Mr. Black Whales, you was on an arrest now, y'all! I never had a new product, but I knew you were gonna try to steal it. So it doesn't exist? Uh, you tricked me! Now, Officer Rufus, if you don't mind... You was under arrest, and you going to Yale, y'all!